Check, 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 check. Oh, hello, everybody. We have so many people over here to watch the match, including animals also here. <laughs> Pigeon. Pigeons are here, brother. Like, this is the excitement for the match. What a match we have today, Sagar Bhai. Well, we have the second Chess Base India Originals death match between Arjun Erigaisi and D. Gukesh. All right, let's quickly get a poll from the audience. Everybody who wants Gukesh to win, make some noise! And everybody who's rooting for Arjun Arigasi today, make some noise! Oh, okay, okay, okay. Home support. <laughs> Home support here we have. We, are, we also have families of both the players, yeah? Yes. So Arjun's parents and his entire family is in the front row. So big round of applause for them. And what about Gukesh? And Gukesh's mother is also here. So a big round of applause to her as well. Oh, Sagar Bhai. 
So, uh, Samai, we had the first death match in Mumbai. Yes. It was between Anish Giri and Vidit Gujarati. And it was an amazing death match that went to the wire. In the end, Anish Giri was the champion and he became the first ever death match champion. And so we decided that, okay, the second death match we'll do after some time. But then, Nordwin decided to hold this dream hack and we said, we have to do the second death match here. Yeah, so thanks a lot to Nordwin and everybody who's recording on their phones. If you look around, there are big cameras we have got for the same purpose. Just enjoy with your eyes, man. Come on. This will all be there on Chessbiz India YouTube channel and in Chessbiz India clips, in, <laughs> for sure. So you just enjoy. It's a moment of a lifetime. You'll cherish it. These boys are going to become like such, such phenomenal players in the world, like the top five, top three. You always remember that you saw them here. So take this moment and enjoy it. Don't record on your phone. Must, like, just have fun. Yeah. So the death match is kind of an ultimate test of stamina of a chess player because we have different formats. We have the blindfold, the chess 960, the no castling. There's also a Ritz format, which is a mix of rapid and blitz. And then we go into the blitz format for one hour and then the bullet wow. for half an hour. And both these gladiators, Arjun and Gukesh, will fight it out here. You will be able to listen to the entire commentary and you will have a lot of fun in this entire death match. Yeah, a slight request, if Sagar Shah cracks a joke or something in your ear, don't laugh out too loud as it might distract the players. But knowing Sagar Shah, he won't be that funny. So that's cool, I guess. <laughs> Just like Samay, I learned from him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sagar. So should we begin? Yes. So shall we invite our players? All right, let's invite our players. Are they ready? So first up, guys, we are going to invite. Introducing player number one. Weighing in just the 59 kilograms, world number 24, India number 3, give it up for D. Gukesh! We have Gukesh in the red over here. Gukesh, what does red mean to you? Um, blood. blood. <laughs> you know, red, listen, it's D Gukesh. It is E Arjun. And it's R what? Pragnananda. R E D. Oh, I red. just thought of it. I just thought of it, by wow. the way. Wow. Thank you, thank you, guys. Amazing. Thank you. I'm a brilliant guy. Well, Gukesh. How are you feeling right now? There's so many people. Are you feeling a bit stressed out? Yeah, I'm a bit nervous, but uh, I guess it will come down uh, once I start the game. So. Once the chess will begin, it will all be okay. But Gukesh, <laughs> we need some, you know, some trash talk from you. What do you think? Are you going to destroy your opponent today? What is your score going to be like? Uh, I don't know. I, um, I'll try to give my best and kill him. Oh, let's go! Let's go! <laughs> and guys, I want to tell you a bit of a secret. They both have said that after the match is over, chess was sub khatam, we will have a boxing match <laughs> between them. Maybe not publicly, but maybe somewhere else, but they will have it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So, Introducing. Samai, time for our second player. His challenger with a rating of 27. 22, India number 4, weighing in a 71 kilograms, give it up for world number 25, India number 4, Arjun! Everybody, everybody come on! Look at that intense look on Arjun's face, man. Intense, intense. Whoa! Guys, let's have a cheer for the homeboy so he knows what support he has here. 
Does that intimidate you, Gukesh? This this support that Arjun has today? Um, no. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Arjun, how does it feel to be playing in your hometown with so many people cheering for you? Uh, it does feel special, but it, it's not such a big thing, I would say. Oh, okay. Turning some of them fans to Gukesh's side, I see. <laughs> <laughs> but Arjun, Gukesh just now said, what did he say, uh, Samai? What did Gukesh say? He said uh -huh. he's not, this doesn't affect him. All the no, people no, are supporting him. No, not that one. He's going to kill him. Oh, yeah, he said he's going to kill you today on kill the boat. Kill you? I'm ready too. Oh, you are also ready too. <laughs> this is going to be an epic encounter. Uh, and Arjun, how has been your preparation for it overall? Uh, it's good. I did check some, some, some openings, some sidelines, and I played some blindfold, etc. Just some normal practice. That's all. Fantastic. Okay. So, All right. Uh, one last question. If it was an actual boxing match instead of a chess match, which Indian player would you like to fight against? <laughs> Nihal Sarin. <laughs> Nihal Sarin. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Uh, with it. With it. Oh. With it. <laughs> oh okay. All right. <laughs> so we also should invite their seconds for this match. The ones who are going to help them, especially in the blindfold game. So let us invite the second of Arjun Erigaisi on stage, GM Ritwik Raja. Ritwik is the childhood friend of Arjun and he's going to help him today in this match. Also help him in the blindfold game. And... Help him as in like tell him the moves? No, not tell him the moves. Then? <laughs> break may they can discuss and so on okay all right and for gukesh we have his friend since many years sendil maran there we have him you know they when they will play blindfold someone will have to make moves on the chessboard and they will be their seconds so samai should we get cracking? We're all ready, we're all ready. So you guys can please, uh, I guess, call the arbiter and do the toss for the colors. Oh, yes, we have to do the toss. Are, so, uh, uh, <laughs> basics, man. You can, you can go and take your chair there. You have a coin? Sendil, you can take a chair there. No, we'll do with the pieces. Okay. Let's call our chief arbiter, Vivek Sohani here. Vivek, should, would you like to do it? Who will choose? Let's, shall we ask Arjun to choose? Okay. Because this is the color for the first game. Right hand, right hand. Oh, I black you. pieces for Arjun Eric I see in the blindfold game. White for Gukesh. It will keep on alternating till the end. A small introduction to all those who don't know the format. The first segment is the originals format in which we have the first game, blindfold chess. Second game will be rapid chess. It's actually Ritz chess, seven minutes plus two seconds increment, rapid plus blitz. Then we will have no castling chess. And finally, chess 960. This will be the first segment. Then we move to the you second segment, blitz chess of 60 minutes of four minutes plus two second increment. And lastly, we have the bullet segment of one minute plus two second increment for 30 minutes. Remember that the first segment, each win has three points. Draw is one and loss is zero. In the second segment, each win is two points, loss is zero and draw is one point. And in the last segment, each win, that the bullet one, each win is one point, draw is half and loss is zero. So that's how the scoring will be. If they tie at the end, there will be an Armageddon. Yeah. Let's hope that happens. <laughs> and all the best to both the players. And as a COB champion myself, I guess I can give you the tips. Just be calm, just control your nerves, and checks captures threats, all right? <laughs> <laughs> all the best, all the best. Great advice. OK, guys, you can uh, remove your ropes and... <laughs> 
and uh, we can get two chairs here for them to sit. Maybe one. Backstage, backstage. Backstage? Huh. Bye, Udar Jatis. Backstage? Huh. Everybody is here, you can use the headphones to listen to the commentary so that you can understand the game. Otherwise, you will not. <laughs> because they are one of the two of the best players in the world. Guys, all those who want to watch it outside, also in the cafeteria, there is on speakers, you can see. And if you are coming inside, please get the headsets for you to watch. You can also settle down in that area. Before we leave and the players come, I want to tell you guys, these two are the gems of Indian chess. The way they have risen in the chess world, just two years ago, they were 25-50 rated. And now, they have reached 27, 25 ELO, which brings them into the top 20 in the world. Just 15 days ago, they both beat Magnus Carlsen in the same tournament. It's an absolute honor for all of us to witness this. So please enjoy it and watch these two real champions fight it out here. And I wish you all a great time. Parth, who to speak us off? Parth, can you hear us? So, uh, yeah, one card, yeah. Okay. I'll go there and talk. Okay, I don't need as of now. I'll see later. Parth, can you hear us? Hello, 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 Parth. Hello, Hello. So my bye. This is 
so exciting so, man so exciting so honored to be here commentating on these two prodigies so excited something well, i'm going to cherish for my life exactly samay i'm so excited to see ki what is going to happen in this match and whether arjun will triumph the home boy or will gukesh the man who has utter determination you know wo kabhi bhi he never gives up yeah man. will he triumph it is going to be really a big big okay. match and, and this is done? what like is the definition, definition of death match we that have you so fight till the end people here sagar so many people and now slowly as the things heat up i'm sure all people from the food area will also come in and witness this insane match and you know what i'm most happy about is that when, like it's for certain that these guys are going to be up there in the top 5 top 6 of the world in the candidates fighting it out we'll always look at this moment and, and look back and be like wow they were here we were there with them and now look at them where absolutely. they are absolutely absolutely this is something which everyone's going to cherish i think we are ready and we should get to the blindfold game which is the first game where both of them cannot see a chess board the time control is 7 minutes plus 5 second increment they have their helpers making the moves but they can only call out the moves i hope the blindfold is uh, not put before they get on stage because the steps are a little steep yeah let's go let's begin Once the round starts, okay, you can yeah. start calling out the moves. You have first move, okay? Yeah. Is the mic correct? Correct. Just is the mic. Hello, hello. Yeah, we are live, and let's go, Vivek. Let's go, guys. Let's start it, and let's begin for this entire. All the best, guys. I'm starting the white clock. Call out the moves. Night F3. Looks so beautiful. D5. I can't hear him. Um I can't hear him. Uh, D5. Um G3. Okay. Uh, G3. G6. Guys, we have the game C4. here Samai. C6. Let's have the chess board on our screen Bishop so G2. that our people can follow this. Bishop G7. Man, Short oh castle. Man. How do they do it? Short. Knight F6. B3. Guys, we are soon going to get the B. chess board. B. B. You know, I can barely B, B. close my eyes and count okay, okay. sheep. B three. I always try to sleep. Ninety four. You know, I told me to close your eyes and you count sheep. D four. After five six, I forget how many Castle. sheep are there. Castle. These guys are playing Bishop a chess game with their eyes closed, man. Legends. Yeah, we have the board here. A five. A five, right? Yeah. Knight C three. And guys. Right now we have Bishop a very F5. interesting position on the board. You Knight H4. Knight takes C3. Bishop They takes C3. Bishop E6. Moves like anything. Bhai kitna so fast. Knight F3. Everything is equal for those of you who don't understand uh, the moves. Like I think 99% of you. So <laughs> you guys can all see the bar. If the bar is more white, A4. white is winning. The bar is more black, black is winning. Currently. I think we can say that black is attacking. Yeah, I think C black takes D5. Has just right now pushed and C takes D5 played. He wants to take here and Samai. Ye matlab pura C takes D5. Uh, it's a it's a very interesting position. B takes oh A4. Oh my god and we have the heart rates also on the screen. Knight C6. Very nice. I hope Queen B3. Not those ones that we had yesterday. <laughs> no no these are new ones. Yesterday you know I uh, I was analyzing my heart rate of my games and you know what I realized hmm. I realized we okay, never used MI uh, Fitbit again <laughs> <laughs> Okay Samai for now the situation is E3. the following Gukesh is better What is the time 7 minutes Bishop F6 7 minutes Ah uh, watch what move Bishop F6 Bishop F6 play I like here. how passionate they are they are just uh, raw with their emotions rook f c1 part can we also have the timer please queen a8 guys for now gukesh is slightly better in the position sagar what do you think is the bishop doing on e6 it's basically right now a big pawn it's not doing much but it can get out from f5 and become more active what is the queen doing on a8 knight e1 <laughs> putting pressure on a4 
He plays knight to e1. He's going to d3 to c5. Gukesh, very positional player. Yeah, in a way, sometimes he plays very positionally. Time, they go. They have not even Look used... Look, d8. Any of their time. Seven minutes for... It's knight as though they d3. They can see the position. Exactly. They can see the position here almost like as if it's a real chessboard, guys. Can you believe it? They are thinking in their head. And here we are. Board dikta hai, fir bhi blunder hote hai. This and is such a playing... cool addition to the entire stream, right? Yes, we are we are there down there, see, guys. We improve slowly, slowly. Unlike these youngsters who improve very, <laughs> very <laughs> rapidly. <laughs> guys, Bishop F5. What is my opening time? You know, Sagar, when I was preparing my introduction for these players, you know, I wanted to actually tell their height as well. But I realized <laughs> that Gukesh is still growing. He's just 16. <laughs> <laughs> I played Bishop F5. Yeah. Bishop F5 attacks the knight on D3, guys. Will he see that it's hanging? And look at the heart rate, Samai. Arjun's heart rate is 160. Knight B4. And that, that is definitely the home ground pressure, Sagar. Ah, I'm telling you. To pressure hai, bhai. The most, to pressure. The knight have, A5. The more expectations are there, right? So the more pressure. He's attacked the queen. The queen queen D1. Queen goes all goes the way back, back to, to D1. D1. Ooh, it's getting nervous, Samai. It is, it is, Sagar. But uh, will the knight reroute itself from knight d3 to go back to knight c5? Because that's where it belongs. Yes, I agree. My god, Samai, the COB champion is really commentating like a pro now. B6. B6? Yeah, B6. B6. Uh, which move? What move is this, Sagar? What? B6. Yeah. B6. Bomb what does this do? What does this achieve apart from opening yeah. up the rook? Well, I think he's just improved his uh, pawn and opened up his queen here. Somehow. Knight takes so d5. What? It's a tactic. Knight takes d5. Gukesh Knight takes d5. Gukesh strikes. is winning now. Guys, b6 was a big mistake here. He should have gone back and defended. Look, takes d5. And now he takes with e4. 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 Gukesh oh is my firing God. on all cylinders here. Guys, I request you guys, whenever such moments happen, they will happen. Do not clap. Do not cheer yeah, in the middle of the game. Only right? the end of the because game. Because I'm sure it will throw them off. Because they can't see, but I'm sure they can hear. <laughs> so please. Guys, right. look at Arjun's heart rate. It's going to 131. Look, D, D7. Man, Which so rook to d7? Rook d7. Rook d7. E takes f5. E takes f5. Takes queen d8. And the queen is hanging. Ooh. D8. D for Delhi. Queen d8. F takes g6. F H takes, takes g6. 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 Now clearly better position for Gukesh. He's a pawn up somewhere. D5. Actually, he's two pawns up. Pushing the pawn to d5. And the fewer the what is left both on the board, times? The more easy it's to play. Bishop takes c3. Yeah? Sorry? The fewer the pieces, the more easy it gets to play on. Uh, what move? Seeing. Bishop takes c3. But Rook you, takes c3. You remember? Knight b7. In Anish versus Vidit, at some point Vidit had forgotten the position. Yeah. It yeah. can happen. It can, it can, for sure. Rook b1. 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 Bombay 1. B and D, guys. These two letters, na, this always confusion. But suddenly, now, suddenly, Gukesh is the one whose heart rate is increasing. Really? Knight oh C5. My God, Gukesh, because he's winning now, no? He's winning, Rook he's <laughs> C4. Oh, we have Knight C5, Rook C4. Gukesh still has a very solid advantage, guys. Can he e6. manage to beat this first game and take the lead of three points in the match? It's a huge lead, Samai. Yep. Sir, is there a way I can get this over here so I can also be looking in the same direction? Uh -huh. Rook D4. Look, d6. Rook, b5. Rook, d6, rook, b5. So, Gukesh still e takes d5. And he's taken the pawn. I think he should take it now. If he takes with the rook, it's a draw, Samai. Oh. Look, rook takes d5. If queen takes, rook d7 and the rook enters below. So Gukesh must not take the d5 pawn. It's very important. And that's why he stopped in his tracks. But Samai, unka speed to dekho. Right. Unka speed dekho na. Their speed is so fast. The way they H4. Are yeah, yeah, yeah. They're playing too fast. Yeah, and right. H4, very good move. Gukesh doesn't fall for the trap. With my eyes only, I can't follow it. <laughs> They are playing without <laughs> Look, a d7. Okay, he goes rook a d7, defending the pawn on d5. A5. And he pushes a5 because if you take the pawn, the knight is hanging, Samai, on c5. The moves are not updating on my board. 
नाइट ई सिक्स Ah, he didn't exchange the queens. Acha, I thought he had exchanged the queens. Bishop e4. This okay. is acha, queens oh. are on the board. Hi, queen end game is the most complicated. What is the time? Five minutes. Five minutes. They're playing too five fast, Samay. They're Kulka playing too fast. Yeah. Seven yeah. minute game. Hai. Gukesh. Let uh, me open and make a move. Slow down. Bishop e4. Uh, you, you know, you, Gukesh is so competitive. He's like. Tell me this time. Tell me my time. Did my opponent wake up? Oh, he's so they focused. Just he's just want amazing. to win. That he's is amazing. the competitive spirit that we like to see. <laughs> he's like, okay, I'm in Hyderabad. King I G7. Right now, I'm going to play chess. Queen E5 check. King G7, Queen E5 check. King F8. Okay. King where? F8. F8, yeah. yeah. King to F8. 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 Um, King G2. King G2. Gukesh, I think asked like to be sure. F8, seriously, like that. I thought is, is, was King F8 a mistake or something? No, no, it was fine. He just wanted to say like, what? Seriously, King F8? <laughs> what? Really? And right now, the Knight C5. Knight C5. Attacking the bishop now. Sagar, this is very complicated, man. Uh, Queen I think games. it shows a big advantage to White, but actually speaking, it's not so easy to convert blindfolded. Do you think? Because one pawn extra is. But in blindfold chess, you can any time blunder. Yes, it's all about the vision. How many squares can Queen you see? Queen f4. Queen f4. Okay. Hey, look, but look, now look, we look. can Already just take the bishop and it's a here. queen end games are drawish. Knight takes e4. And Arjun is back. Arjun Sagar, is back. I in have the a game. feeling. Queen it's takes e4. No, really? Why not? They are gonna miss something. Queen can go in so many directions. Queen c5. I agree, but the, you know, I mean, I don't understand why Gukesh didn't take the bishop. A4. A4 pushed here by Gukesh. Both King G7. Heart rate is almost similar, and so is the position. Yeah, guys, remember a win is three points in this segment, and a draw is one point only. Queen F4. When the game F4. started, at that point, Gukesh's heart rate was very calm. Now that he's lost his advantage, he's also coming down. Heart rate niche aa rahi hai. Queen B4. Is it safe to say when you get a winning position, your heart rate go grows up? It does, it does, because you're excited, right? <laughs> Either you're excited or you're nervous. Heart rate goes up. Whoa! Look at this angle, Samay. We can see entirely everything from here. Gukesh with his blindfold. King F3. His own. And, and fantastic it is so important job. to know notations. Queen B3 check. Realize, you know, because those <laughs> seconds behind, if they didn't know the notations, I don't know what they would be playing. King with. G2. <laughs> they are grandmasters than I am. Queen B4. Know the notations, right? It's very important, I think. Hey, are they repeating? Yes, maybe, but Gukesh will not repeat. He's a pawn up. He will fight till the end. He is one of those fighters. He has five minutes on the clock. He's not going to let it go. Already 46 moves have happened blindfolded, guys. These guys are just dissing uh, biology because. <laughs> God gave us eyes to see, but they are playing without their eyes, and they are just playing as if they had eyes. They don't care about eyes, man. <laughs> right? Yeah, this is actually amazing. Let me just go to our chess base India live. King H3. How many people have tuned in and watching this online? We have so many people at the venue. Guys, tell all your friends to come and tune into this. This is something that you'll never see again. It's history in the making. You'll be so proud of yourselves that you were here, a part of this when they become. The greatest players in the world. Yeah, absolutely. And they are on that path, Sagar. And you know, Samay, right now Arjun is. Queen takes f4. Oh, he takes it. He's gone into the pawn and game. G takes f4. Extra f5. pawn, and he's ready, and he finds the best move to hold the draw. Wow. But Sagar, are wow. there some ideas like giving up a h5 uh, pawn, then bringing king the king g3, king h6, like king h3. 
King H5. Oh, King G3. King H6. He, it's a draw King H3. H3. King H5. Are they repeating? King G3. King H6. King H3. King H5. Uh, I think it's... Guys, yeah, they I deserve a thunderous it. applause for it's this game. Draw. It's a draw! It's a Let's draw! Go. Whoa! It's a draw! Game number one ends in a draw. Gukesh was better. There you see he's analyzing and he's... Can we go up there and uh, maybe talk to them? Yeah, please, let's go. Yeah, when I played Queen F4, I just missed that. Uh, he, like, I thought my bishop was on D5. Thought my bishop was on D5, and then I played Queen F4. But uh, uh, my bishop was on. But bishop was still on E4. So, uh, yeah. Well, you have a couple of minutes break. You can go that side. That's your side, I think. And Arjun, you're very close to sort of uh, yeah. being lost. When I played b6, I totally forgot about knight takes d5, and it was terrible, but fortunately, he forgot that his bishop was on e4. And when he played queen f4, I understood that he forgot something. And please take some rest. The next game will start in two minutes. All right. Oh, Sunai, they count. Guys, you can hear him, right? Of course, they can't hear him. No? Of course, they can't hear me. Why? Now they can. But even in this, they can hear. They can hear ah. in the headphone. But I'm in front of them, no? I can talk to them in the mic. So, guys, did you have fun in the first match? We're going to have so much fun together. Just keep at it. Don't go out. You'll go out, you won't get a seat. There are so many people waiting to sit here. Enjoy the matches. What is next, Sagarsha? The next game is seven. Now you can't hear. Okay. Seven minutes plus two seconds increment. And it's a normal game of chess. So after blindfold, we are going to witness completely normal chess. Only two chairs. They will fight it out against each other. Gukesh will have black now. Arjun will have white. Let's go. And I think there's a timer here, right? Is it there? No, but there is a two-minute break only. And then they will be back. Match. Check, check. We are going for 7 plus 2 format now. It's called Ritz, which is a mixture of Rapid and Blitz. And Arjun has the white pieces, Gukesh has black. The score is 1-1 one, one right now, tied. Yes. Let's begin. The games are going to start and I think my sound needs to go off go? PA. Get ready. Right. Samai, so how is it feeling? Go. And the feeling is insane. The crowd is getting mad. <laughs> Samai, when he's walking here, everyone's like, Samai, why, Samai, why? Game is started. Game has begun. Because they have no idea who is sitting on the board. One yeah. day, when they will, they'll regret that they were not watching the match. 
<laughs> well, guys, please watch the chess match and please turn me off, PA. Oh my God, that is uh, Roy Lopez over the board. Right. Oh, it's not Roy Lopez, Samai. Trump? It's a Ragozin. Oh, it's a Ragozin. Yeah, it's a See, Ragozin. See, now you know why I won COB, not candidates. <laughs> and we have the board right now, Samai, on our screen. And Gukesh is one of the best players on Ragozin in the world of chess. You know, he has so many ideas, Samai, in this opening from white and black. But Arjun is super well prepared. He goes 92. Okay, let's let's look at the live chat because they often say something interesting. Till date, the funniest comment about uh, Gukesh I've heard is, if D Gukesh is playing like this, how good will A Gukesh play? <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Chat can be hilarious at times. Okay, Sagar, what's up? What's happening? So far, just in the opening phase, the knight has moved twice to E4. Yeah. Why is that so? I think what Gukesh is doing is he was putting pressure on the G3 bishop and also he has pinned the knight here. So he is actually on the offensive, he's pushing his pawns, but Arjun is like, you push more of your pawns, you create more weaknesses. So that's the thing here. Maybe, Path, if you can have the commentators on the bottom right. Yeah, yeah. that would be great. Ooh, awesome, Path. Amazing, part. amazing. And right now, if you see, you know, Arjun is very calm. His heartbeat is only 89. He's yeah. calming himself down. He's calming Gukesh himself. Gukesh is still recovering from the last game. I think he'll take some time, but they will settle in soon. So far, it's looking like a very heavy kingstar attack is going to happen from Gukesh's side. Yes, he's taken a pawn. Samai, last move, he took this pawn. And now, instead of recapturing here, Arjun played bishop f4 and he said, if you want to take this pawn, please be my guest. I will take it back. And I will have two bishops well developed. Knights are on the board. My king is well, okay. But where will the king uh, castle? It's safe on e1 in the center. So this is the situation right now that he has actually sacrificed a pawn and he goes bishop g4. Oh my god, the bar doesn't like it at all, Sagar. Oh my goodness, it's a big blunder. F3. But what has changed? Oh, peace is hanging, Samai. Gukesh has blundered a piece. How come? Because now the knight is hanging, the bishop is hanging. If you take knight, take c3, I take with the pawn and attack both the bishops. Oh. It's a big mistake and can we see the heart rates actually changing? No. Gukesh is still very steady at 103 and by the way guys, they both are wearing a arm wrist band there. It's on their, uh, not arm wrist, on their arm. It's an arm band. Sagar, are you sure this is not something that the computer doesn't see but Gukesh can see? <laughs> I think computer you know, understands when Gukesh this. makes, uh, you know, the bar doesn't like Gukesh's move, I usually think the bar doesn't understand it. Man, what is, are you serious? Like, it's a plus four situation. No, did you see Gukesh doing that right now? He just sort of did this on his eyes and he's like, what am I doing here? In I just made a match? huge mistake. No, not in this death Achha. match, in this move, yeah, Bishop G4. I thought, I thought, okay, why am I here with Sagar? He's thinking. <laughs> what did I do? I hope they are not thinking that way. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, these are such phenomenal players. Just 16 years old, Gukesh, Gukesh is 16. And 19 years old, Arjun. Yes. Combined, one Sagar Shah, guys. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> I just feel very old now. <laughs> what is this, Samai? <laughs> <laughs> I think the sum of the ages is still less than your age, man. <laughs> but I wish the sum of the rating was also around that. <laughs> you wish, Sagar. Okay, what did Gukesh do? Okay. He, he actually took on c3, pawn takes c3, when bishop a3 attacking the rook, he took here bishop c1 and now Arjun is thinking, should I take this bishop or should I do something else? And you know, Samai, he can take with the knight so that if ye pawn marta hai, he can take it with the queen. Okay, let's, uh, I'll teach you some Telugu as we are here, okay? Okay. Takes ko Telugu mein bolte hai, tis ko. Tis ko? Haan, to tis kondi, aap respect se bol sakte ki, tis kondi, tis kondi. Tis kondi, night tis kondi. Ah, night tis kondi. Matlab night le lije. Ah, le liya us night. Yes. Nei, le lije nahi. Mara us ne. Tis ku naru. Tis ku naru, night tis ku naru, dosto. Let's go. And look at Arjun's heart rate. It's 93. Very stable. He's actually, I think, sort of becoming calmer and calmer. Hai yeah. Na? Yeah. And this means that Arjun might take the lead in this match. H6, G2, Bishop, G2. Sagar, how many matches are they going to play in this format? So now this is the second one. We will have two more. 
that is first next one is no castling chess they cannot castle at all theek hai and after I think that this is that one right which one this one only they are not castling <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do you do they know that this is not no gasling chess? What no. if it is like they think it's no gasling chess? <laughs> no, no, they know they know it. I sure. I don't think Arjun knows it. Look at Arjun's king. <laughs> Now they cannot even castle. It's done. That ship has sailed. Oh, maybe Gukesh can castle. He can move his queen and long castle. That is possible. Yeah. Okay. Is there any hope in this position He for Gukesh? Queen b3. I think Arjun is not going to give him any chance no, here. No, no, no. Sagar, how do you defend that pawn now? Do you waste a move? Oh, what is this move? You're giving up the b7 yeah, pawn. Yeah, he's Sagar. giving up that pawn because he wants to create play with rook b8 coming into b1. That is his plan. So that's the reason why he's done that. For now, guys, they usually say when you're up material, exchange pieces. Here, Gukesh, when he's down material, is giving up more pieces. <laughs> Grand Master Chess. I think Gukesh is just muddying the waters here. He's like, I am lost here. Let me do something to save myself. But I don't see that happening. And Arjun will take a three-point lead, Samai. That will be a huge lead. He goes Rook B8. He takes it, and now he takes the pawn on C7. Again, nice move. Queens are traded. Bishop takes. And will he go with his Rook to B2? Rook B2. Why not Rook B1? Actually, Rook B1. Then King might move up. No, Samai. Okay, then get the other rook. After How? King D7. Yeah, possible. Very much possible. Rook B1. There he goes. Did he go Rook B1? Of course. Oh no, Rook B2. No, Rook B2. He went Rook B2. He went Rook B2. Okay. I'm glad. <coughs> okay. Right now, Gukesh getting some counterplay. He's attacked the bishop on G2, and that bishop is hanging. And look at our audience, just completely riveted on their chairs. They are like. What is happening? Will Gukesh fight back? Is there any hope here? Bishop F3. Samay, what's happening on our chat? That's what I'm saying. There are seven thousand people watching. Wow. Guys, do like the stream and do spread a word about this stream. It's happening. Something historic over here. All thanks to Chessbase India. And Samay and Nordwin Gaming. Guys, this is a very very powerful sort of a setup here that we have done with. good production with everyone here audience can listen has commented hyderab what do you expect do you expect them to go ah! in middle no, of the no, match no, no. that's something we don't <laughs> expect it's a gentleman's sport i think they they will yeah. they will realize after this game is after over after the game they all shout <laughs> don't worry king d7 bishop e5 hmm hmm Rook takes h4. It's a free pawn. No. Uh, mm, mm. Guys, in the middle of the stream, you'll often see Sagar Shah talking to himself. He's not <laughs> mad. He's just talking to the guy far through the headphones. So you know, excuse him. <laughs> Although Amruta disagrees. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rook takes h4. Taken here. I think both of them, Samai. Are so cool. Oh, he takes on c3. Oh, the knight is pinned. Knight is pinned. He cannot take it. Oh. But but it doesn't change the evaluation much. But at least there is some hope for so Gukesh. I have a feeling. Ha. Huh. That I am hungry. Ha. Huh. <laughs> so I'll uh, get some water to drink. Acha. And about the position, I was have a feeling that uh, he might go rook at seven and get that pawn on f7, Sagar, and then everything is okay. Look, there he goes. Yes. He goes rook at seven, but king e8 played here. Should I okay. open it? No, no, I'm good. Uh, how about how about repeating with Rukesh? Uh, he's white. He's winning. He's plus seven here, Samay. I think he will play on for a win. He'll go g5, put his bishop on h5, and put pressure on the f7 pawn. That's how Arjun has to win. He has to find a weakness. Oh, he goes Rukesh. Man, Samay, he has gone Rukesh. I'm sure he's not going to repeat. Now he's going to go Rukesh f8. Oh, he was planning this way. See, smart, very smart. After all. Great minds think alike. <laughs> He's gone rook f8, and now can Gukesh go king e6 to protect the pawn on f7 and d5? But then, but then, Sagar, mm. the knight on e7 can get pinned by rook e8. But then I'll go back. I will not let you win. And you know, Gukesh's one of the biggest traits of Gukesh. 
is that he never gives up. He keeps fighting on and on. Jitna bhi losing. The position may be whatever lost, he keeps fighting. I think the way, one way to fight for Arjuna, I mean Arjuna is winning, one way to quickly convert is maybe to get the king F to F3, remove the pin of the knight, bring the knight into the game through F4 and then probably D5. Wow, okay. But yeah, that's a good idea actually, Samai. I, I mean, mean, how else do how you... How are you making so much sense today? Brother, I am <laughs> in form. I and it's my home crowd, man. Come on. The, po the problem is, generally when Samai says something, I can be like, Samai, what are you saying? You know, I, this is wrong. And today, whatever he says is all correct. Maybe we should shift our uh, roles, huh? <laughs> 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 okay, Rook F8. And actually, this is a long thing by Gukesh here. Yeah. He's not playing his move. And actually, the time on the clock, if we see Gukesh is down to 43 seconds. The time has not updated on the screen, guys. But he's down to 43 seconds on the clock. You can see it. Haha, <laughs> he's played A5. And now, Sagar, do you think King G3 is in the air? Yeah, maybe King G3, but Rook E3 is hanging, Samai. Rook E3 is hanging. Ah, Rook E3 is hanging. But can I not take the pawn on F7? Oh, of course. Free yes, pawn. Yes. Nice pawn. Most obvious. Free pawn. Why did he give that free pawn? Was there no way to defend it? Yeah, I think he, he could have played King E6, but as you said, yeah, uh, that in the end, there could be some trouble. So, Gukesh's only chance is basically that A pawn, which hmm. is why he's given up exactly. that pawn also. Exactly. He has exchanged one move for a pawn. Right. For a pawn push. Correct. So he's gaining time for material and he's telling Arjun that look, I want to make a queen. But Arjun now saying whether he should take this pawn or not is the question. He plays pawn to g5. Third now, often we always uh, look at exchanging and material like this. Ki if I get a knight, uh, they'll get a bishop. If I get two pawns, they're going to get one pawn. But you have to sometimes also think about squares. Yes. And sometimes about time. Time. That, okay, he will get this pawn, but I will get this square. Correct. He will get this move, but I will get these two moves after that. Correct. So that's, that th that's like the advanced level of chess, I think, when you start calculating like that. Absolutely right. Uh, and for now, g5 has been played. Black to play. And they've started to blitz out the moves. Samai, do you see? Gukesh is down to last four seconds oh. and he resigns. He resigns. He resigns all right, here. All right, let's Game go. is over. Arjun takes the lead. Arjun what a sudden Arigasi end. takes the lead with how many points, Sagar? 4-1 four four is the score. 4-1 oh four one in the favor of Arjun Erigaisi. Four minutes break before the next because this is the halfway mark through the segment. So we have a slightly longer break. Samai, will you go on stage and talk to the players or should I do it? If I go, I'm sure the rating will decrease. So you can <laughs> probably try that, I think. Okay, I'll go and just pick their brains for a couple of minutes before we resume with no castle chess. If you talk to them, how is it a break for them then? Are break is for a thoda do 10 second hi baat karunga. Okay, bhai. Just let them rest, you know. Alright, uh, jab tak Sagasha is going there. Hello, Naru Andar, Bau Nara, Anam Tinara. Aunty, what's up? Leak IP in the Andar, you share me what's up. Please, what's up? You check and the end of the camera. Can be soon. Okay, there you see Amruta. You have Ashwinji who clicks great photos. If he ever uh, encounters you, just smile. Sagasha. What a fantastic event, guys. So many people glued to their seats. So many small kids I can see in the crowd who are definitely getting inspired by these two youngsters. Maybe they want to grow up and become like them. Is that Sagasha in the audience with a blue check shirt? Oh, Sagasha is here. He's back. What did I just notice is what? very, very interesting. The thing is, Arjun went into his vanity van backstage. By the way, guys, we have a vanity van for both the players. The vanity van has two sections. One is Gukesh section. The other is Arjun section. So. Arjun went to the vanity van and Gukesh is sitting in his corner. I don't know if we can get a camera view of him. But this is the look of a determined man. Can we just 
have a, a camera on Gukesh. You know, Sagar. Look at him. He's talking to and his mother oh. actually came and said something to him. Wow, this is also interesting. It's a very nice angle. You know, Sagar. Uh, human body. Let me tell you something about the human body. Okay. Human body. When does it? When does it feel uneasy? It feels uneasy when the environment, external environment, and what's happening inside our body, there's a mismatch in it. For example. If you're sitting normally and your heart starts beating hard, you feel like uneasy, like what's happening to me? But let's say you're out, you're in a party, you're dancing and your heart's beating fastly, you don't you don't feel anything because you are in sync with your outer environment. Wow. So maybe Gukesh is trying to just be in the environment Calm that he has down. to play in just to uh, just to sync his heartbeat with this action. Right, packed. right. Very well Game put there. Happen. And I think uh, Gukesh has never really played in such an environment and getting used to it is exactly. not easy. I could have just said that he's getting used to it. <laughs> 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 but right now, if you look at him, Samai, whenever I see Gukesh and there you have Arjun, he's entering from man, behind. This production quality is oh man, next this level. Is too good. And this the is best too good. part is today the game quality is also next level. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Everything. I think our commentary quality is also... Okay. <laughs> okay. Haha, <laughs> no, no, this is great. We are able to see. And there look at Arjun, no? He's looking very calm. Ritwik is like yeah. all the best buddy. He's his childhood friend. So he's like pumping him on. And there you, you see know, Arjun coming into I've the game. Uh, all of Gokesh's friends are his childhood friends. <laughs> Why? Because he's still 16. True, true. I mean, childhood was love when he was very young. Yeah. <coughs> okay, guys. All right, in guys. this format, they cannot castle. It's a no castling game. That's going to happen now. And it is 7 minutes plus 2 second increment. Gukesh has the white pieces now. They cannot castle. So I think we may need to make certain moves on the board to kill the engine. You know, Samai? Because engine will always count castling. Ho gaya hai. Ah. So we have to make like knight f3, knight g1. Can we just quickly do that? Yes, we will do that once we are live. But then does that mean that we'll have to enter their moves manually in by ourselves? Yes. The entire game? Yes, we'll do that. All the best to you, Sarasha. <laughs> Guys, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's I begin the third game. The I score is 4-1. I can finally actually say that I can feel what they're feeling right now. In what way? Yeah, yesterday I was there. Oh yes, you, you were know? playing on the same stage. It's an unreal feeling, guys, you know. Guys, the game the board. has right. begun, but I'm going to make a few moves. Uh, just to show you guys how no castling chess works. You make these few moves on the board path, if we can have the camera uh, board on the screen. You make these moves to kill the engine. And then you basically have the game. D4, D5. Knight F3, E6, Sagar, have E3. you told them both about the noise cancellation headphones that they can use? Yes. But they said that they would prefer not to use it. And they would like to play it just like that. They are so focused, Samai. They are okay without headphones. The arbiter already asked them. And both of them are like... Kill the external uh, sound or everything. We are just going to focus. All right, Sagar. What's happening in the position? B6. Here. White is gaining a lot of space, Sagar. Bishop B2, Samai F6 and Knight BD2. This White has space. a small advantage here. Will Gukesh strike back in this match? Bishop B7, Bishop D3. And so sorry to the live audience, there's some disturbance. It will just go away within some uh, time as that game is going to get banned soon. <laughs> <laughs> Knight BD7. And now, what is Gukesh going to do? 93 beats per second, per minute for Gukesh. 87 for Arjun. Okay, In spite of all the sounds, Amai, they are very calm. Yeah, yeah. Like, like you know, I told you, right, that these guys... Just focus. This, it's like how a fish sees, you know. It just blocks out everything else, only the board. Fish doesn't see that way, bye. Fish sees like that. <laughs> that. There is one story where he had to hit the arrow on the fish's <laughs> eye. Are, but have you never used the fish eye camera? Acha. It, it works like that, man. <laughs> and how do we know how fish sees? <laughs> so H4 We only know played. how fish tastes. 
<laughs> no, I also don't know that. But you know, Samai, in no castling chess, you it's very castle. important wow. to use your edge pawns, and that is exactly what Gukesh is doing here. He's pushed his pawn to h5. Sagar, uh, is Arjun trying to castle manually? I think he must be because rook f8 and king g8 is on his mind here. But look at Gukesh's heart rate. It's beating faster. Does he think he's already better? Has he seen a tactic somewhere, Samai? Maybe. Because generally, that's what happens. G5 played by Gu Arjun. Oh my God. And now, a very powerful move here for Gukesh is E4. Opening up Man, the position. They're so explosive, both of them. You know, Both of them. They don't like any positional play. They just go, let's open up G5. Let's open up A files. They're just going all out for the attack. Big fighters here. And let's see, Gukesh goes, oh, he plays the best move. Let's He's played go. E4 on the board, guys. And Gukesh must win this game if he wants to come back. Because if Arjun wins, he gets a six-point lead, which is huge. Sagar, you always say that chess is a... Uh, chess imitates life. Actually, Gary Kasparov says that. But yeah. you always say that how you are in your real life is how you play on the board. Correct. But they are playing such aggressively over the board. I have spoken to them, interacted to them. They're very soft-spoken people. How is that happening? Well, I think the thing is they conserve so much of their energy in real life. They don't really, you know, fight anything. Just come. Individuals keep pura energy board. Pe you know, we'll be fighters on the chess board. That's how it is. And Bishop F4 has been played. Okay, the bar is giving an advantage to Gukesh. Yes, Gukesh game. is clearly better. He must take C takes D5 here. And guys, C D5, E D5, and maybe he can push the pawn to E5. Remember, you cannot castle here. The king cannot go to G1. And Arjun here taking his time. What an amazing environment we are having, guys. There is noise in the environment, but Gukesh and Arjun completely focused. If you ever want to have a total focused outlook here, these are the two people there. Yeah. Guys, uh, we have the director who's saying that once the game ends, we also should root for them and, you know, just shout like, Great game. So, but not now. Not Basically, now. After the we'll game, we'll shout so much that the other people get disturbed outside. <laughs> hey, what is happening here, man? What is this? Is this chess? Okay, let's do it after the game. The yeah. moment the game ends, we'll all shout at the top of our lungs as if Elon Musk has given us all one one billion dollars. <laughs> okay, we won't do it, but you guys do it. Okay, Queen E2. Nice move by Gukesh. Just connecting his pieces nicely. But the only problem is the king. Maybe the king can go from d1 to c2 Samai and oh. sit there on a nice square. This is a very complicated position. If you see how many exchanges have happened so far? Right now, actually None. no exchanges. This is really complex chess on the board. And uh, heart rate's under control. Yeah. 87. Guys, 72 is considered to be the normal heart rate. We have 87 and 85. But and I while really playing the game, if their heart rate is 72, I think that would be abnormal. Uh, yeah, I mean, that means that they can... Con it's a normal thing for them. It's like they're living normally. Like how you eat and your heart rate is 72. <laughs> they will chess. But I'm sure it must. there must be some uh, changes in the heart rate. I'm sure there's no player in the world who can just have a resting heart rate and play chess. True. Rook E8 played I mean, here. my grandfather can. Hmm. His resting heart rate is zero. Okay, uh, let's focus on the game. Okay, let's go. <laughs> he wants to play king f1, g3, king g2. Maybe that's also a plan here. F3, Samai. attack the bishop. Bishop has g3, to go no? back. G3. Sorry, g3. Yeah, yeah. Sagar, you know what I'm worried about is that rook coming on e8, yes. attacking the king, queen in that file. How exactly. about you just... Exactly. That's very well spotted, somebody because now you can't take. You can't take. It will open up this file and you can't castle. So That's can we go win. king d1 or king f1? I think very important to right now move your king away from the e-file for Gukesh. Let's see what he does now. And for Gukesh, this game is an important one, but Arjun is playing very well. He is not letting Gukesh run away. The time, actually, let's quickly check what is the time situation. The time situation is 3 minutes 33 seconds. 
for Gukesh, four minutes for Arjun. That is the time situation right now. He goes G3, good move in the position. Bishop takes D2, Knight takes D2. Oh, Howard King takes D2 and achieve what we wanted to do. Oh, but he took with the Knight because I think somehow he wants to put his King on G2. That's what he wants to do. Ah. And guys, the time right now, very even. It's seven minutes plus two seconds increment. So every move you have two seconds increment here. Samai already black has moved his king. So, you know, the position, he cannot castle anymore. Sagar, practically, who do you like more in this? I like White's position a lot. Let me complete the question. Uh, Amruta or Samai? <laughs> <laughs> for, for now, I think uh, I'll say you are next to me. Some Amruta may not be hearing this, so I'll say you. Thank you so much. And okay. now coming back to the chess saga. Mm. We have to move the king away. Yeah. But now it's Arjun to move. What's he going to do? Arjun goes knight f8. I think Arjun is a little circumspect there. He's played his knight to f8. Arjun's advantage right now, uh, Gukesh's advantage will definitely grow. Knight f8 hmm. on the board. And he plays his pawn to f4. Wow. F4. Oh. He's going oh all out there, God. guys. All out. Gukesh is attacking. Man, this. I cannot believe that this is all perfect chess. Because yeah. It looks so weird to have all the pawns like that. The king is exposed. Oh my G God. takes f4. And now I think he'll take back with the pawn. But he can also give up a pawn, Samai, and try to open up the G file. But okay, just take. Oh, he goes rook f1. What a move by Gukesh. He's like, take my pawn. I'm actually opening this up. I'm going after your king. Wow. <laughs> wow. What a move. Rook f1 here. He's given a pawn up. And guys, look at the time right now. The time situation is 2 minutes 59 seconds and 2 minutes 26 seconds for Arjun. And Gukesh is really, really excited about this position. Look at his heart rate. It's 117 while Arjun over there, very calm. With 79, he's like, okay, Gukesh, you can attack me. I'm being calm. I'm being composed. I'm going to fight this. Yes, and I think this is a good trend that we are noticing. The moment Gukesh, I think, gets an advantage, his heart rate starts to rise up. Hena? Yeah, yeah. That's the trend that we are seeing. Let's see what happens next. He goes D takes E4. Good move here by Arjun. And now Gukesh can take. But also look at this move, Samai. D5. Because if you take the bishop, boom, Rook takes oh, F6 with the bishop here. Man, that is going to be happen? crazy. Oh, man, that is Im that's impossible to find. So many crazy No, 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 but that's why he's thinking. Otherwise, he would have taken the bishop. He would have taken. Is Gukesh going to push D5, guys? His heart rate will tell us. It's going up. His heart rate is going up. Is it going up? No, no, no. It's going down. It's going down. No, I don't think he'll play D5, Samai. Okay, his heart rate is going down. I don't think so. He's it's going up. <laughs> it's going up. If it goes up, it means he's excited. Let's see. And he's going to do it. Mm -hmm. Right. Come on, Gukesh. Gukesh, you have 2 minutes 20 seconds in hand. And Garjun has 2 minutes 3 seconds. Who, uh, which of uh, these players, Sagar, is a more of a defensive player? I think Arjun, they say, uh, Gukesh, they say, is more sort of calculative, so he can defend better. Arjun is more intuitive. Knight takes e4 played on the board. He did not play d5, and I think logically, Arjun, and, uh, he's very intuitive, Samai. He sees a move and he often plays it sometimes without calculation also because he understands things uh, intuitively. While Gukesh, hardcore calculator, guys. Then there we have the score below us. Arjun on four points, Gukesh on one. I think excitement comes when there's a neck-to-neck -neck match, right? So I am really hoping that uh, Gukesh can fight back yeah. so that both of them rise up and give even like more of what they are giving right now. Exactly, but Gukesh's time situation doesn't look good. Samai, he goes King C2. The best move in the position has been played by Gukesh. King moves to C2. And now, what does Arjun do? Arjun has How slightly about more time. Sagar, now that the King is on C1, bring your Rook to C1. Rook C8, I mean. And then open up that file. B5. Go ahead. C5. You mean this way? Yes. Yes, I think something like that has to be done by Arjun. He needs to create play. So yes, B5 is a very interesting move. But I think 
very difficult yeah no, for first, rook c8 first first rook c8 then b5 then play c6 something yes. like oh nice nice because it's the only piece of black that is not yet in the game yeah you have to bring all your pieces into the game guys Arjun slightly ahead on time now, using that advantage, thinking deeply. And right now, Arjun also, what is Arjun's time the, the situation? Time He's stuck, 55, Samai. He has 55 seconds if no, we no, no, see. The timers are stuck. Yeah, they are stuck here, but uh, we can see on the clock. Ah, okay, okay. 47 seconds for Arjun. Oh, then One he's minute 25. Yes, yes, Arjun is low on time, has a worse position. And for the first time here, I can see Arjun's heart rate is increasing. Right. Arjun also getting under pressure at 6. Gukesh quickly goes rookie 1. And I think Gukesh has a big advantage, guys. This match is going to be equalized it seems for now because Gukesh has such a big advantage. Man, you can take any of their positions, take a screenshot and it's a puzzle for a tactic. <laughs> there are so many tactics in this I think position. you can make a book out of this match, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We can always do that. Okay, knight at seven on the board. Let's and go. And he pushes d5. D5, Fantastic oh my god, move. that knight is now pinned to the f6 square. Yes, he's opened up his bishop and here and somehow you can't take this because then after cd5 the knight on f5 is hanging so it's an important thing here and what did he, he play here after knight at seven d5 queen d7 on the board and somehow now the times are updated one minute five seconds for gukesh 22 seconds for arjun sagar sagar can we not just uh, do something crazy here let's go what I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Knight takes f6, you want? Knight takes f6? <laughs> you want to sacrifice what? the knight? Is it working? <laughs> yes, knight takes and then queen e5, boom. There must be something here, man. All I can say is there must be something. But it's it's a very computer-like line. And look at Gukesh's heart rate. 126. Do, do we have rook takes oh, f6? Oh, he takes it. He takes it. He takes it. Knight takes f6 oh. on the board. Gukesh <laughs> showing fantastic chess here. Fighting back on the board. Arjun Erigaisi takes back, knight takes f6, but now queen e5 finds it. What a player. How can you sacrifice like this, man? Like usually when you sacrifice, you get instantly something you get. Like in two moves, you get some uh, piece back or something back. Right. He has sacrificed and nothing is, he's getting nothing out of it. No, no, Samai, he's got everything. He's getting the king now. Bishop f5 oh. is taken. He's going all out. E takes f5 and now queen takes f5, attacking the queen. Queen d6 played. Queen to g6 and, and resignation. Gukesh has won, equalizing the score. It's 4-4 and the scores are tied before we go into the last game of the original segment. People from all the stalls are looking here. Ki, what <laughs> happened here, man? Thank you guys for a big cheer there. It's 4-4 before we go into the last segment, which is last game of this segment, Chess 960. And oh Arjun there moving out. You know, this is the trend. Arjun goes behind the uh, place while Gukesh sits on the stage. This time Arjun still cool and calm. And uh, players are not to be disturbed there. Of course, no one will come there and disturb the players. I really like look the at Gukesh. approach that they're taking. You uh -huh. know, like Gukesh is spending time with himself while Arjun really likes to, you know, talk about the exactly. lines, what happened, exactly. what could have been done better. So Arjun is trying to improve with every game while Gukesh is actually doing what Alpha Zero does, just playing with itself <laughs> in the mind and becoming better. <laughs> I These think two approaches. No, Gukesh generally likes to be with himself. You know, he is often called the one-man army. He likes to stay with himself, calmly meditate. Even the during the tournament, he lives the life of a monk. You know, he doesn't open his messages, no social media, no interviews. Meanwhile, Arjun is quite relaxed. He gives interviews. He's a very calm and cool person. But uh, Gukesh congratulated me for the uh, trophy, so I'm guessing he watched the match yesterday. <laughs> no, I told him that you Aray, won. Yeah. <laughs> I had some happiness in my life. You took it away, man. Guys, Chess 960 coming up next. Let's we talk have about that format uh, until we started, guys. Chess 960, also known as Fisher Random Chess, was a chess uh, variant invented by Bobby Fisher, 
who got so tired of playing the same openings against so many grandmasters that he was like everybody comes home prepares it's so boring same thing happens again thousand times let's make a random chess uh, game so in this format what happens is the pawns remain where they are in standard chess but baki ke jo pieces are all the pieces they are randomly arranged and whatever is arranged on white side is same arranged on black side so it is called fisher random and when you uh, give uh, all, there are only 960 combinations of chess possible right. yes so that's and why it's called chess 959 because 960th is the actual chess position oh <laughs> that's crazy that's yeah and fact. there you have arjun coming in for now the score is tied at 4-4 guys what a match we have on our cards Wh who's going to take the lead in this original segment's final game with 7 minutes plus 2 second increment It's Fisher random chess. The pieces are randomized. We'll show you what the position is. There you see, the king, queen, actually are in the center. No, no, no. Queen is on the side of the board. Oh my God! Let's start the game. And there you go. Seven minutes plus. Yes, let's, let's go. go. Pass. Let's go. Maybe we can have the score uh, because new people are joining us in the broadcast on Chess Base India. Who is joining? Do like the stream. Spread it to more and more people. Yeah, we have knight to g3 on the board. It's called the ready opening. I'm uh, assuming. Bhai, is me koi opening nahi hai. This is oh, all achha. random chess. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just trying to But see. But they didn't even take any time to look at the board, man. Yeah, no, they actually got to know this position before the match started. Okay. So they might have had some idea, and this is actually the final position of uh, the World Fisher Random Ch World Championship, which happened recently, which Hikaru Nakamura won. Oh, so maybe they actually uh, know something about the position. Yeah, yeah. Like By you know, the way, they must have analyzed it for sure. Arbiter, can we have the la board on the screen? Like, uh, why can't we see it so that people can actually follow it? Acha, now you want to put board also in this? Huh? Ha, upper board to aana chahiye na, bhai. It's like how I fill my suitcase, you know. When I have to go somewhere, I just put everything in one <laughs> place only. <laughs> you don't have. Fourth game yet, but I'm hoping yes we have the board. We have the board, but no, it's one second. They are working. No, we don't have the board. Maybe they have to set up this chess. There's some strange format. noise coming from the right side. What is that? Oh, it's a mosquito killing smoke machine, guys. Welcome to the genocide of mosquitoes. It's so uh, cool how we humans just don't care about mosquitoes, you know. Just kill them, like when you see them. Usually, we we really care about big animals. <laughs> like you know, do everyone likes dogs. Everyone like you know. Samay, <laughs> Fisher random chess. <laughs> you I mean, are mosquitoes are a proper machine. It's like a like a Hitler of mosquitoes is roaming around. <laughs> By the way, uh, a few moves have been played, but on this actually, it's very difficult. For us to understand right now, but it seems like Arjun has an advantage because he's got his queen on a4 and he's developed his pieces out there. I think uh, it's going to be a bit difficult to get the board. No, we are trying. We'll. It, I think it should happen. It should happen. Okay, there it it is it has come here. Huh? Ah, huh, new link. New link. Okay. Let me. Yes, uh, we have it. Okay, okay, but some way. Sense of what is going on. Let's have the board here, guys, because there is no bar. We have to think on our own and tell our viewers what is happening. Okay, let's try. Let's try. Let's try. Can we have the board here? This is the one that is there on our screen with the timers here. Uh, it's all good. Parth, if we can have the digital board for the audience. He's I think it up. Bishop e2 on the board. You know what I've noticed about Parth? Like when we used to stream, right? Uh, any chess event, we would just put the entire window and then crop it in front of people and all. Parth likes to do everything behind the scenes and then just show the finished final product. Yeah, he does it beautifully. He does it beautifully. All right. Uh, I love the move that Arjun has played. He's brought his knight to f5, and he's attacking the bishop on e7. 
Sagar, there can we White have the board. Yet? We have the board on the screen. Oh, he castled. He castled. Can he? Did yes. He? Black has castled because you just move your king and the rook and it's completely legal, guys. This is Fisher random because the pieces came out and the king comes to the same position where you castle it. You know, Sagar, I was uh, watching this interesting video about uh, these chess players where this guy, they give these chess players some positions to remember and they easily remember it. But then they give these same chess players these positions which are completely random, like where the, you would never expect the pieces to be. And it's very difficult for them to remember, the, uh, to keep that in mind. Absolutely. So maybe one way for these players to make sense of this position is to convert it into standard chess positions. Exactly. Like develop your pieces exactly. in a way that it, again, looks like a normal chess game. That is exactly what they are doing, Samai. And right now, I think Arjun will also castle. Uh, Arjun had a chance to pick up the bishop on e7 with his knight, but he did not take it. And now Gukesh hits the center with d5. He has two pawns in the center, Samai, and it's looking very strong. Sagar, can you play bishop h5, take that knight, and then that bishop is hanging? Yes, that e7. is a possibility, but then he will move his bishop to f6, I guess. But then the bishop is on a3. Yeah, that's a great idea, actually. Can we go bishop to h5? Wow, Samai, if, if Arjun plays this move, I'm going to bow down to you. Okay. For just suggesting this move. You all know? right, all right. <laughs> Or maybe h4, some, no, h4, knight, h, no, h4, bishop, h4, maybe, yeah. That's a problem, perhaps. Wh even white can castle, guys. Oh, he castled. He castled. There he goes. There he goes. Bishop f6 played by Gukesh. Nice move in the position. Bishop to f6. Oof. What now it's looking like a normal chess position. Yeah. Except that queen is on a8. Yes, and uh, Director Saab, if you, on the left of my screen, there are clocks. So if you can take the top clock for black, bottom clock for white, that would be great. So far, guys, exactly same time. Both players have 4 minutes, 26 seconds. Both, yeah, exactly. Both have 4 minutes, 20 seconds on hand. But Gukesh's center looks menacing. Samai, is he already having a big advantage? What but, do you uh, think? But white's pieces look even better developed. Yeah, but no center control. Space nahi hai, Samai. But sare players under aaj chuke game khelne ke liye. But once you start pushing the black pawns, pieces are going to be pushed back. Maybe you go d3 and you defend against all pawn breaks. Possible. But now d4 is an idea. Remember that the bishop can come to b7 here and attack down this long diagonal. Can we not make arrows? Uh, here, it's uh, not possible. Okay, okay, okay. He goes knight to d6 here. Okay. Knight to d6. I wonder what he wants. Uh, I think Samai, he's just trying to put the knight there and take the bishop on c8. But that bishop is harmless, right? No, it, it might become very strong on that diagonal. So rook d8, Gukesh is like, okay, take it. If you want it, you take it. Now I'm developing all my pieces. He's he played does. rook to d8. Okay, and he takes rook c8. Wow, I, I, I mean, visually, guys, I love black's position here. He is doing very well. He goes bishop g4. But Arjun is saying, Sagar, I don't agree with you. My bishops are very strong. They are attacking on both diagonals. Samai, what do you think? I have no idea what's happening <laughs> in the position. All I can say is I am having fun. <laughs> yeah. That White is actually under some pressure. You are right. Black e4. is better. Bhai, e4 killed diya. He's pushed his pawn. <laughs> wants to take bishop takes c3 here in this position guys 3 minutes 52 seconds for black 3 minutes 19 seconds for white queen a6 he moves in i really like how arjun is playing this he's going from the side attacking the knight so now the threat is bishop e6 f e6 queen e6 pawn oh. is hanging so how do you prevent it some I, can you go rook e8 but if you move your rook to e8, d5 pawn becomes slightly weak. Okay, the queen is defending it. So for now, it all seems good. The threat is to take on e6. Bishop e6, pawn e6, queen e6, check. How about going knight gf1, gf8? Knight gf8, yes, that's a good suggestion. To defend your knight, Samai, you are in great form. Maybe rook e8, maybe knight gf8. So, oh, there we have the clocks on the screen. Three minutes. 16 seconds for Arjun. He and what did he play? Rook e8. Oh, he played rook e8. Fine, fine. He's played rook to e8. There, defending his rook. 
डिफेंडिंग इज नाइट सागर सा कैन वी गो रुक बी द रुक ए वन हाँ एंड देन मूव द बिशप एंड देन गो फॉर सेवेन या देन टेक ए सेवेन यस पॉसिबल बिकॉज़ ए सेवेन इज अ वीकनेस या या सो ही माइट डू दैट बिकॉज़ व्हाट एल्स प्ले डस लाइक व्हाइट हैव वेयर डस ही जेनरेट प्ले I think that's a good idea, but I I guess Arjun may even break with F3 or something. Samay, oh, F3, F3 might be an idea in that position. Let's try to is focus. Is he not worried about his pawns getting doubled? No, I think Bishop C3 is okay with taking D takes C3. But that's why fine. why give that option also, right? You mean move the knight? Move the knight. Why? Why not? But I think that Bishop is strong, and if he gives it up, it's good. The knight is putting pressure in the center, and right now two minutes twenty seconds for Arjun. Are you guys see? Guys, this game, whoever wins will take a huge lead in the match, a three-point lead in the match. Before we go to the blitz segment of four minutes plus two second increment of one hour. Oh, B6. He's pushed his pawn to B6. Some. Did you expect that move? Oh my God, I had not expect this move. What's the idea here? No, he just wants to get his rook into the game on but, the sixth rank. But he's gonna give up his queen. Like no, no, he's no. gonna exchange the queen. Yeah, place. he's okay with exchanging. I think because he has less space. Yeah, he takes with the rook there, and now he's okay to exchange off the queens. On the board, and I think I get a feeling, Samai, that d5 pawn could become a weakness. But the position should be around equal. Yes, I think a d5 pawn will not be uh, attacked, considering bishop c3 will come. Ah, correct, correct. But then when you, uh, it will be battle of bishops versus knights. I think also structure structurally, white will be not good after bishop c3. Right. By, by the way, he's taken the queens. Queens have been traded, and oh, he's taken the bishop. Yeah, Take C3. yeah. It's bishop versus knights on the and board, guys. And now, Sagar, if you see the weaknesses C2 and C3, they will be attacked by these oh, two dangerous knights. Oh, look at this move, Samay. Rook A8. If rook takes A8, rook takes A8. The bishop is attacked. Rook enters. The knights are actually dominating the position. Yeah. Unbelievable chess. Gukesh has turned the position. I think. I mean, he was better. We have no engine to look at, but I think. Guys, you have to agree with me that it seems like the initiative is with Gukesh, unless Arjun finds some really great ideas here. He plays Bishop C1. No, that Bishop is very passive. I don't like that Bishop. But now Sagar Rook takes Bishop takes again Rook A8. Yes, yes, absolutely. That's gonna going to happen. But there is Bishop B7 somewhere. Defend uh, attacking the Rook and D5 pawn. And this is the moment where I laugh at Sagar for teaching me about the Bishop pair advantage. <laughs> What about the bishop at one day, Sagar? Now you tell me. No, yeah, yeah. These bishops are not good. These bishops are actually getting blocked. How comfortably you change your opinion, you hypocrite. <laughs> you know, Samay, just like how people might tell you at some point in your life that marriage is good. It all depends on the situation. You cannot, you, know, you cannot you make general rules. You give Sagar any problem, he'll bring it and he'll blame it on his marriage, man. <laughs> I wonder how Amrutha lives with this guy. Okay then. Uh, what happened? Yeah, that's what he happened. Goes, no, but he goes rook b8. Oh, rook b8. He does not play rook a8 because bishop b7 is not allowed. Now rook b8 is an excellent move to to sort of dominate the bishop on a6. Also dominate the bishop on c1. And you know Arjun is feeling this claustrophobia. You know, like there's no space for his pieces. Sagar, can you give up a pawn like? Play a move like C4, but you can't, right? No, C4, no. Samay, we need to do F4, 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 F3 or F4. Something there has to happen. But you know, he was, he's. Why did he go Bishop E2? Is a question to me. What was the reason behind it? Maybe he wants F3 at the at some point. Okay, now what's the threat though? Rook B1. We go Bishop D2. Ah, uh, yes. I so he won't go Rook B1. I think. How does? Gukesh press. I think he needs to get his king in. Maybe king f8, king e7, and look at the time situation. Gukesh is down to one minute five seconds. Some of chess is so exciting. We are not even looking at the chat. What the hell is going on in live stream? I am sure even the chat is not looking at us. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a mutual understanding. Oh, he's played rook b1. He's, he's played, played the same now move. Now you go bishop d2. No, he played rook d1 and Gukke uh, Arjun is oh. saying d5 is the weakness. D5. I want to attack. But you can't. Your rook is pinned. No, it's defended by. Ah, your bishop is pinned. Yeah, Correct. Bishop is pinned. So you can't Correct. move the rook without Correct. losing the bishop. Correct. F5. That's why Arjun says I don't care about my d5 pawn. Your bishop is hanging. F5 on the board, and you. I can see that look on Gukesh's face, which says, I am better. I'm going to press. 
but arjun is fighting really hard you know arjun if he draws this game it will be 5-5 the score and the momentum will be actually equalized the only reason i see that arjun might uh, losing the game is because of those two pawns on c2 and c3 right right they it's are but he's gone f4 samay oh he's gone f4 he's Opa trying saw? to open up the, i i don't know if you want to do up saw because then he'll take with the pawn and again push with f4 so either you move your knight away now but where knight Should c6 he goes knight d7 knight d7 ha now he might go to b6 to a4 knight oh g4 to bhai this guy here oh, arjun is saying fighting back i am going to break your structure gukesh is saying i'm not going to allow you to break the structure knight b6 on the board king f2 comes up the bishop is getting unpinned guys knights like closed positions bishops like open positions so that is why arjun is trying to open up the position gukesh is trying to close it it's a battle of the opposite styles and g takes f5 now yeah g takes f5 on the board and what happens next now is the question ha huh, i think that bishop on c1 wants to move somewhere no he goes c4 he gives up a pawn yes that is what you That's had mentioned what i said i that think now, somewhere he wants now, to enter with the rook on yes, d6 yes he wants to go rook d8 check and then he can move the bishop but samay d4 aa gaya d4 arjun is not letting those bishops breathe he is like i am not giving okay, you space how about go c3 now no but c3 you get d3 passer <laughs> takes takes yeah he's taken no you can't play c3 for sure d3 may come those two pawns are looking dangerous probably stronger than even those bishops now no if arjun holds this it will be huge because his position looks ah, very bad he wants to go king d2 defend that bishop and then move the rook yes but, but is that knight going to be in time to attack look that? at that knight a4 it's coming to c3 and oh he's taken on he's played bd2 rook d1 takes with the king or is this still no he takes with the king is this still possible to hold i think so no no actually it's fine no for why for black i mean uh, those passes for white sorry that e e passer is what i'm worried about look he's gone to e3 now yeah he's pushed the pawn what he, he took a queen are you kukesh abhi to queen badle ko time hai acha he took the queen in his hand it's like an intimidation tactic i guess yeah he's 12 seconds arjun has 4 seconds unbelievable this is stressful i want to know the audience's heart rate man man both of them are still near 120 below 110 what oh, gukesh played it with 3 seconds on hand bishop a6 he pushes his pawn to d3 c7 he's making a queen is arjun winning this is arjun winning no knight g2 check king here oh that's he's pressed the piece how oh, is losing on time is losing on time and arjun has won it what a comeback by arjun eri guys see what, what a fight what a fight what a fight he man. is such a fighter guys and we now have arjun leading with 7 points to 4 बाप रे बाप भाई साहब व्हाट अ मैच यू हैव हियर मैन व्हाट अ मैच दिस वाज दे आर सो नेक टू नेक बोथ ऑफ देम आई मीन आई कैन टेल यू समय गुकेश वाज डोमिनेटिंग फॉर 90% ऑफ द गेम एंड इन द लास्ट फ्यू सेकंड्स ही जस्ट सॉर्ट ऑफ कोलैप्स्ड एंड अर्जुन टुक ओवर व्हाट अ डिफेंडर दिस गाइस सच इज चेस सागर यू नो दैट इन वन मूव एवरीथिंग कैन बी टर्नड अराउंड बट व्हाट आई एम रियली एंजॉयिंग इज दैट Each and every game has been so exciting, so, so fighting, so explosive, and both have scored wins. Both have scored wins and tactics in all games. Yeah, absolutely. And by the way, Samay, now we have a five-minute break, which is now come down to four minutes. There you see Ritwik and Arjun having a nice time. What about Gukesh? You also Easy. have Vibhav Sethia over there. Look at that. Vibhav Sethia is standing there, looking in awe. And oh, Vibhav is a true chess players. lover. He enjoys. And by the way. audience also taking a short break some of them but guys come back within 4 minutes it's all going to start with the next segment which is blitz of 4 minutes plus 2 second increment and over there we will have two points for a win one for a draw and zero for a loss look at those kids there showing their hands to the audience hello 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 hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> they are They're having really such enjoyed, a nice yes. time they will actually get inspired yeah by this match man i am getting inspired i want to start playing chess <laughs> like as professionally <laughs> yeah well let's so much firepower you know i think it's uh, something to do with youth you know mm. when you're so young and your your blood is warm this right you're just you know you just want to go and give all the tactics all the yeah. sacrifices yeah. bishop attack like everything that you're just throwing at your enemy and then when you reach sagar shah's age then i think you become little positional 
tell that to a young Capablanca or young Carpo or young <laughs> <laughs> guys. What a match we are having. The score is seven four in the favor of Arjun Erigaisi right now. Before we go to the next segment, which is one hour of blitz, and in this one hour, Samai, they can play as many games as they want. So there you have to strategize. If you're losing, you have to resign so that you maybe. save time. If you are leading, maybe not. Maybe not. If you are behind, you need to play quick. Yeah. But I think Arjun has a big advantage because they say Arjun is very strong at bullet. So if in this format he has taken a three-point lead, now Gukesh needs to pull back some games here. Otherwise, in the bullet, he might be in trouble. True. And right now, Gukesh must be under pressure. For he's sure. Definitely, he has to like he has to win on demand right now. And there is this thing in chess called tilting. Yeah. Which is what I hope doesn't happen with him. Like let's say he plays a match and he loses, and then that confidence gets affected. And Correct. And it's very difficult to make a comeback of four points. Yeah. So if Gukesh has to win, he has to strike in this first game. Absolutely right. You are so correct. I think if Gukesh strikes here, the match is against balance. Yes. But if he if he loses boost. couple of games, Arjun is going to run away with it. Yep. And I think Gukesh is going to try his best to stop that from happening. We will now go to the next blitz segment, and maybe when we are halfway mark through this, we would love if Nikhilesh Jain or Amruta can go and take a couple of minutes of interview, right, with these players. Like maybe just ask them one or two questions. What do you say? Why not? Yeah. Who, guys? What's happening online? How are you guys enjoying this broadcast? Please send super chat so that Sagarsha can also enjoy. <laughs> guys, please write in the chat. How is it? And the people who are watching us over here uh, live, good Lovely. news. A uh, very good news is that the stall on the left side, which was making a lot of noise, is now over. Over. The event is finished. And they have gone Because to the other side. Because they finally realized that. BGMI is banned. <laughs> <laughs> so why make noise? Chat, are you having fun? Oh, by the way, they have done a very nice job there to keep the timer so that the players can see that 60 minutes ke kitne minute baki hai. So they are aware of that fact while it's being done. It's And honestly fantastic. Thank you for this, Sagar. By Swagatam Gosses. Arey, thank you so much. It's all the efforts of everyone involved here, and I think it's a teamwork for sure. Joy Datta, thank you so much. I sent a super chat earlier. Says Sandeep Roy. Sorry, guys, if I missed a few super chats here. If we missed it, but uh, don't worry, your bank account will not <laughs> miss it. It is gonna get all of them. And Gukesh is back. He actually went to the vanity van this time. He was not sitting there. And Gukesh is here. For the blitz segment, a handshake there. They are already from that friendly mode. They have gone into that sort of, you know, I want to beat you mode. And this is the first time Gokesh actually left and went back. Yes. Four minutes plus two second increment is the format that we are looking at right now, guys. Uh, Parth, maybe we can have the score displayed. So that everybody who is joining now to the broadcast can know what the score is. Yes. And by the way, guys, right now, this will last for an hour. Every game ke baad there is a one minute break. At the halfway mark, that is a thirty minute mark. There is a three minute break. What? What? Nothing. And uh, we can go right. Yeah. We are all set. Let's go. What brand is that phone, man? No, I don't know why. If it's a Chinese brand, it might not last for one hour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, four seven. That's the score. Now we are going into the blitz format. Shall we begin? Arbiter Sab. We have Krishan Gupta giving us a super chat, saying, "Stay up all night to watch this. Worth it." Arey, thank you guys. Krishan, by it's thank you the day, so right? much. Acha, oh, he's from here. Sorry, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Enjoy, enjoy. We have basically people from so many countries watching the matches begin. The clock is ticking, and he goes knight f3. The ready opening this time. Knight to f3. Yes, that's what we have on the board. Knight f6, and there you have the 60 minutes have begun as well to tick down on the side, so the players know. And we have the board also here, guys. Everything is set. Let's go. Let's rock it out. Gukesh, actually, you know, Samai, when he was young, he used to play knight f3, g3, bg2 all his life. 
मतलब ऑल इज लाइफ क्या ऑल इज चाइल्डहुड लाइफ व्हेन ही वाज यंग दीस आर ऑल नॉट फ्रेजेस यू कैन यूज फॉर ओकेजन नो व्हेन ही वाज 12 इयर्स ओल्ड ही बिकेम अ जीएम विद दैट ओपनिंग एंड ही इज आई थिंक इन दिस मोमेंट ऑफ कैलामिटी वेयर ही इज 3 पॉइंट्स डाउन इन द मैच ही इज गॉन बैक टू हिज sort of Roots. this first love in the opening yeah it's like how i play c4 exactly yesterday when you wanted to win oh. you played the opening that you wanted c4 break here d takes c4 queen d1 and now rook takes d1 played bishop c2 he's attacked the rook this is preparation from arjun eri guys see you know wo rook ko aise tickle kar raha hai ki yaar hato yaar yaar mere ko kyun kar rahe ho bhai aap bhi to thode rook <laughs> sorry you lost weight <laughs> sorry i am now a bishop <laughs> All right. Uh, rook is at d2 already prepared for the other rook to join it on d1 but how first the bishop will have to be developed to b2 i guess that's yeah. why we have to play b3 now ha b3 khel and correct played. b3 on the board guys for now gukesh has a e it's an equal position you know no one has an advantage yet and e6 played by arjun bishop b2 will now happen that he is plays bishop to b2 and now bishop b4 now, rook on the board come to d1 other rook yeah that's that seems very likely bishop b4 and maybe oh. he goes a3 you know if you get a bishop pair in such a position somewhere that would be epic yeah, because the position is open both the bishop fianche told like looking at the longest diagonals of the chess board guys the diagonal a1 to h8 and h8 to a8 are the longest diagonals on the chess board yeah absolutely and the uh, i think the power of a piece can be determined by how many squares it's attacking right yes Yes. So that means that those two bishops are the strongest minor pieces of the board. Yeah, I agree with you. This is a very nice position to just play on for uh, for Gukesh because when you want to beat someone, you should not go into direct lines. You have to kind of go into a long winding variations, and that's what he's done. He's gone knight d4. Now this moon doesn't really have too many ideas, but the knight is well placed in the center, and maybe it's okay. Do you think uh, Samai he will long castle here? Long castle? Yeah. Man, I mean, yeah, that seems likely considering his uh, pawn is also already, uh, you know, on c6. Yeah. So maybe that will give his rook some development. And by the way, guys, all those who are asking whether the heart rate is accurate or not, it is. They Today are. Today we are not using the Chinese brand, guys. Uh, they have put it on their arms. And Ashwin, who is our very good friend. has actually configured it he is a very good engineer so i mean we have full trust on what's happening here sagar what to do now samay you tell short me i would go for short castle short castle yeah but the time advantage right now that is there is actually Gukesh has two minutes forty-eight seconds. He goes knight c five on the board. Knight c five. Arjun is still in the no castling zone mode. <laughs> oh, rook d one. Gukesh is like, I don't like my rook there. I'm going to play it back. The time is two minutes thirty-three seconds for both. My, how much equal time is? Yeah, they are handling the time so well. Why did he just go back with the rook? Is uh, it because the uh, knight was spinning, uh, pinned to the rook? Yeah, he didn't like that. You know, there was a pin. and actually i oh, think gukesh is going wrong somewhere he's bringing all his pieces back which is not ideal it's not very gukeshly yeah it's not <laughs> it's not gukeshly that's true by the way joy datta thank you so much say samay congratulations on the amazing victory yesterday would love to see you live on board and uh, devansh thank you for your super chat as well many people enjoying this live from all across the world please do like the stream guys This is an epic encounter between yeah. two of the most amazing prodigies of Indian chess. And uh, everybody who played in the uh, Rapid and Blitz tournament today, huh. yesterday and tomorrow, the top 20 people will also get to play a simul. Age group winners. Age group winners. Age group top 15. All age group winners in Blitz will get to play a simul tandem simul with Gukesh and Arjun so at 4:30 p.m. Incredible. tomorrow. That is going to be another amazing event, guys. That we are going to have. 97 played i like how arjun is sort of you know maneuvering his knights he's flowing right now i think his pieces have that energy don't you feel yeah very smooth moves you know like every move has a logic and has a reason like for example that move d2 rook d2 ha uh, for coming back to d1 was like a slower move but right now black like arjun is playing all 
useful moves. Yes, he wants to play f6 and he wants to play e5 to further limit the knight and eventually the pieces here. Rook c1 played by Gukesh, but I can tell you guys, Arjun here is definitely having a big edge in this position. Big edge here and also in the match 4-7. Saga, whenever opposite castle link happens, right, the only idea I have is to start pushing the pawns on the alternate sides. Ah, like just go for you want to attack, but F5. Queen nahi hai na. So how can you attack the without rooks, queens? Two rooks, right? The rook on H, uh, the rook on D8 can come to G8. Right. And you can start pushing those pawns is all I can think of. How else do you generate play? Oh, oh my goodness. He's played bishop A5 and now a chance for Gukesh to play bishop A3. No, but he goes knight B1. Do you feel somewhere, Samai, that Gukesh has gotten a bit affected by the loss? I think Gukesh is settling in. I think another couple of games and he'll be in his true element. He goes knight d2. Because okay. right now he's playing a little passive, Sagar. Yeah. Being yeah, very, no. very careful. Extra careful. Maybe he doesn't want to lose any points. But knight d2. Where is the knight going from d2? I don't get it. Why did he go for that maneuver? Maybe knight f1 and knight e3. Or maybe a3, b4 he wants? That's why his knight defends the b3 pawn and that's what he wanted to do. But a3, b4 is not a big threat, right? Because after a3, of course, the bishop will go back to and c7. And then b4, then knight b3. You know, oh, like I'm... Oh, like a pawn... Oh, already the rooks are in position for the attack. Yeah, I mean, maybe not that... Yes, he's played a3, but just gaining space. Bishop c7, played by Arjun. Why not? Like, if you just uh, push... b4, oh. yes. b5 also. Karna hai. Karna hai na but c5 square chala jayega. So, ah. first c5 karnenge. Ha, maybe, maybe another idea is c5, knight c4 and then go here. Nice. Thank you, thank you so much for the super chat. Chandrasekhar Ramalingam, thank you. Okay, knight goes to e4. e4. Achha, knight e4. And now, Samai, I really like this move, c5, which you suggested. Yeah. Because go with your knight here. No, he, he, he exchanges. He takes, bishop takes e4 on the board. And now, what do we do? Can we still go c5? Maybe c5. What's the problem? With oh, c5? he goes bishop h3, bhai. Bishop ko yahan se nikala side se. What? And he's looking here and this diagonal. But aren't you just giving up the pawn structure of the king? No, but then you lose a bishop pair, no? And I think we Gukesh just saw is the okay. bishop pair yeah, in the last game. <laughs> he, he actually. Ex oh, I love what Arjun has done. He actually gave up one of his bishops and then said, I will exchange the other bishop so you don't have the. Bishop pair advantage. Ah, see, bishop pair advantage is important, Samai. Bishop e5, knight e5, rook d8, king d8, because if, if you took it the rook, is better, it's, it's uh, Arjun, I think, again. No, but f4? Uh, double pawn, Sagar. No. Long term weakness. e6 is also weak. Okay. It's a, it's a battle of ideologies here. Knight person or a day person? Sorry, knight person or a bishop person? But double, there's no double pawn person. <laughs> it's clearly weak, right? <laughs> yeah, maybe. He goes C5 and he's saying, look, knight, I dominate you. You can't come here. You can't come here. You can't come here. Yeah, it's like how my father used to never let me go out to vacations. <laughs> you used to go to trips and all in your childhood? Yeah, for sure. I had a very vibrant childhood. Uh -huh. Oh, <coughs> Sagar. Hmm. He's trying to prevent uh, E5, I think. You know, he wants to go here and then here. By God, I think somehow, visibly, Gukesh looks good. But Arjun is playing very actively. He's playing G5. He's creating play. But somehow now, pawns can be undoubled. But then Black will have space. Oh, Arjun is... Gukesh is even ready to get, like, isolated doubled pawns. To keep control on the E5 square. I and... Oh, he's coming here to attack this. Even though the bar shows equal, yeah. practically it's very difficult, man. I agree. I agree. I, who, for whom? For white or for, for black? For white. For white. He goes knight g6. And now knight comes and attacks the f4 point. Should we go king f3? I think he plays it. King e7. Arjun says, I'm not allowing you to come in. Rook moves in to d6. Knight to f8 played. Can you go king g3, king h4 and king h5? King? Ah, you want to go this side. Oh, he, but he's going here. I think, Samai, this is going to end in a draw. What do you think? I mean, it's a bishop versus knight. Oh, he's uh, going here. He's going for your plan. He's going for your plan. I think, I think the knight has an advantage in this position. 
Man, Arjun is not going to settle for a draw, it seems. Arjun wants to play for a win. He goes knight g6, but I think there's no chance to play for a win for either side. Gukesh playing on the queen side. Guys, the heart rates are just about 100. I can't believe how... Oh, he goes b6. He's fixing that weakness on light square somehow. Kabhi to bishop ya aega, pawn lega and then pawn will queen. A5, knight c6. A6, b takes a6. And now bishop... Can we go a6 already? Yeah, this has happened. Bishop b5, knight to a5 jumps there. And guys, at They're this point, so fast, it's man. around equal. Maybe white has a small edge. But look at the time situation. Gukesh has five seconds. Arjun has seven seconds. Anything can happen here, guys, with so little time on the clock. King c3, is he going to lose something? So material. Oh, he can take bishop c4. He can take because knight takes b7. King takes b6. Oh, Gukesh is winning here or what? He's one second pawn. He's two pawns up, Samai. Gukesh is two pawns up, but I think those doubled pawns may finally save black. Unbelievable. Doubled pawns might just help there, but Gukesh is going to fight here and he's not going to let Arjun go away easily. This is peak Saga Shah, by the way. <laughs> oh, he goes bishop b5, knight c8. There's a fork. Oh, knight. Sorry, he says sorry there because, you know, he doesn't want to lose on time, Samai. Two second increment is nothing. If you waste some time, you might lose on time. Uh, Gukesh, you can't play so slow. You might lose on time. One second left. Uh, oh, he's lost a pawn. Now a draw might be the best thing to do here. Oh my god, 128 heartbeats. Oh. Even Samai, in such high pressure scenarios. Oh, what? Is, yes, is Arjun yes, has blundered something or what? Knight f6, king g6. No, they're no, playing no, no, so no. fast, even the DGT board can't keep <laughs> up with them. Like, they're faster than electricity, guys. <laughs> Bishop h3. King. Oh, where does the king go? King h6. Is it? Is it some Zugzwang? Man, Gukesh wants to win it. He's not even uh, taking the pawn on h5. Yeah, guys, this is a draw, but this is a draw. This is a draw. I think they both can agree to a draw. And look at Samai. One game has taken 13 minutes to finish there. Yeah, like every um, match, that every minute that goes ahead without Gukesh being able to chase up to Arjun is a minute lost for Gukesh. Yeah. Because he could have probably, you know, won another game in this time. I agree. So maybe he should be agreeing to a draw if it's completely draw. Well, unless there is something in the position. Well, he's two pawns up, so I think there is a sort of a moral responsibility to keep oh, playing. Oh, he's pushing, he's pushing. Yeah, you can keep playing. This reminds me of the Carlson. game Fisher taimanov You know, there was this game where the bishop trapped the knight somehow. And look, Gukesh. Somehow Gukesh thinks there's a chance. Some kind of a chance there. Maybe. Bishop e6. He brings the kick bishop in. Okay, can we have the others, uh, other look only, please? Because we can see the time. Yep. Yeah. How does somebody hold their nerves in such less time saga for I, so long? I, I mean, I would have blundered something very soon. Samai. I would have blundered something Oh, is the bishop going to class. somehow dominate the knight? I don't think so. Gukesh is trying hard, but I don't think he's finding it. He's not finding the way to dominate the knight. F6 check? Knight F6? Ah, now. Ah, he's giving it up. And a draw nice. there, guys. What an encounter. No, it will stop on its own, Gukesh. You don't need to stop it. <laughs> Gukesh is like, don't take my one second there. I need that. I need to beat him. And guys, Arjun is still leading with 8-4 on the scorecard. And we have a one-minute break. So the players can maybe just walk around a bit, get a breather if they want. Did you just say 8-4? Sorry, yes. How 8-4? 8-5, 8-5. Sorry, guys. 8-5, not 8-4. The score is 8-5 in the favor of the homeboy here from Hyderabad. Arjun Erigasi. Arjun Erigasi and Gukesh. They're, Arjun they're just Arigasi walking around. Arjun has the expression like he's the one who was like, you know, down by four points. Oh, Arjun is like, what a match was it? Like, I, full, as a, you know, it was a high pressure game. Arjun yeah. could have lost at some point at the end. Do you he want some water? You want some water. Water tau tawa is what he said in Telugu. Sorry, can you teach us? Tau tawa means will you drink? Tau tawa. But if you just say tau tawa to someone, don't say it like that. Just say water tau tawa. Just say what what ah, you want to drink. But how do you that. say water in uh, Telugu? Nilu. 
Nilu Tautawa. If you go to a random uh, guy, uncle, and you say, Uncle Tautawa, then that's another meaning. Okay. Then okay. Don't say that. By the way, we have so many people in the crowd sitting here. And you know, Samai, they are enjoying themselves. It's actually this place, High Tech Exhibition Center, is a little bit far away from the Hyderabad city, it's right? It's very far away, you know, by like, uh, especially like people who stay in LB Nagar side, Vanasalipuram side. It's a very far away place, like it's around 40 to 50 kilometers. If you take the outer ring roads, probably 60 kilometers. So, really, people have come from so many places. Yesterday, we had a guy, Vivaswan, come from Pune. Right. using uh, his bike so people are really interested in chess and it shows in the audience absolutely and by the way we see ashwin there looking at the heart rate amruta looking at the video arbiter looking at the time we have so many experts who have contributed nodwin who is looking at the production samai who is looking at the commentary i mean samai maza aa raha hai ki nahi hai maza aa raha hai bhai and only upwards from here man only yes, upwards only from here only upwards Just and onwards production onwards. quality is the new normal आप थोड़ी मजा आएगा जूम में दैट इज ट्रू नाउ गुकेश हैज द ब्लैक पीसेस अर्जुन इज वाइट थ्री पॉइंट्स डिफरेंस स्टिल अर्जुन हैज एट पॉइंट्स गुकेश हैज फाइव पॉइंट्स राघव श्रीवास्तव सेज मैसिव लव कीप अप द गुड वर्क थैंक यू थैंक यू ओके लेट्स गो 8893 यू नो द हार्ट रेट समय हैज नॉट गॉन बियॉन्ड 130 अंटिल नाउ that's how they are keeping a tab but anish and vidit when they played vidit went till 175 170. if i'm not mistaken okay then maybe uh, again guys don't use chinese heart uh, measuring devices <laughs> no 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 really it was it was, it was. and anish is went 150 plus then wow. they there they begin the second game of the blitz segment c4 e6 oh i Knight love this opening C3. from arjun oh let me it's now transposed into queen's gambit accepted is it No, no. Samay, this is Ragozin now. Again, Ragozin. Agoz, uh, again, Ragozin. And in the game number one, actually, he had blundered. Oh. If you remember, it's the same opening. They are playing like again. Like how how easily like Gukesh just goes for G4, G5 ah. without castling. Is this exactly. a new chess? Is this what is uh, like the modern chess? No, it's not. It's yes, this is the correct board. It's just actually theory. Samay, they have prepared it at home. And this happened, no? In the last game, Bishop F4 here, Gukesh blundered with BG4, which allowed F3. Remember? Yeah, yeah. So now Gukesh actually sat down there, thought to himself, "What should I do?" And maybe he will come up with some new idea. Just improving uh, by yourself, you know, like building on what your own mistakes are, is actually a good lesson for everybody. Mm. Rather than learning from you know other people and seeing what they are doing, I think what you can fix in yourself is a great. Oh, motivation! Some, <laughs> some guy doing motivational talk here is so rare, guys. But love it. He's absolutely right. Learn from your mistakes and learn from others' mistakes. Also. And learn from others. Don't mistakes. learn from others' uh, good things, mm. because you can't learn anything from there. You can only feel jealousy. Acha, isn't it? I'm not sure about that, but. <laughs> 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 okay. G takes H3 taken here. What was his move? Rook G8. Ah, uh, he played Rook G8, and now G takes H3. Do I feel that Gukesh is taking a bit of risk, you know, by going for this opening, Samay? What a fight there between Amruta and that photographer. Who will get more clips for Chess Biz India channel? Why? They're both just standing in front of each other right now. <laughs> <laughs> I think Amruta is not listening to the commentary. Yes. Yeah, she is interested in uh, you know the videos and all. Okay, Sagar. Bishop F5. <laughs> Bishop F5 now. Again, White is not going to castle. Black is going to long castle. We know this much. But what new will Gukesh do this time? <coughs> Gukesh has brought his bishop to F5, and now Arjun is thinking. I think Gukesh also has made up his mind that he should go a little faster on the board. You know, like he is taking. a bit more time and in the end when it comes down to like very few seconds i think until now arjun has handled it better right yeah so a3 played attacking the bishop and now gukesh has to decide should he take on c3 samay should he take on c3 should he move his bishop back or there is one more move can you find oh, that oh, move oh, 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 one more oh, move oh, oh. There must be some tactics. Yeah, it's uh, actually an intermediate move. You don't touch the bishop. You do something knight else. Knight takes e5, e4. This knight takes d4. You mean? D4. No, 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 no. There is a beautiful. Use the queen. 
use the queen. Gukesh is thinking. I think Gukesh oh, may play it. Qu queen a uh, h4. Yes, threatening a checkmate in one. Will Gukesh do that? That seems like a crazy move. And I think that was a, not a great move here. A3 by Arjun allowing this. But I, I doubt if Gukesh will play it. Also, he's bleeding time there. 2 minutes 34 seconds on the clock. Maybe he's calculating that line, you know, deep, like 6 and moves deep. Queen h4, what happens after that? Your pawn is attacked, so you defend it. Rook h2, then what happens? Ah. Then you probably have to first go bishop c3 check. Then what happens? You take it back. With what do you take? With knight or with the pawn? So he's calculating all of that. Absolutely. And he plays it. There wow. He's played queen h4, threatening mate in one. Now only move as some I said. Rook h2 has to be played. Amazing. Is there a way you can defend it with bishop g3? But no, bishop g3 will take, no, with the knight. Pawn g3? It's then you have weakened the structure a bit. So I think also he won't do that. Also, black is going to castle and white cannot yes. open up the Yes, yes, he'll castle, castle long. Guys, what is now Arjun Erigaisi going to play? It's a mate, it's a sort of caveman attack by Gukesh. He's like, I'm going to checkmate you in one move. I'm sure uh, Arjun is not going to fall for that. Yeah. Of course, it's a mate in one. No, I mean, he won't fall for it, but will he play Rook H2? What yes, else? he goes, Rook H2. And now, the bishop is attacked. Gukesh has to now look at that, yes. He takes on C3. Now you must take with the knight. He takes with the knight. Why Good not move. with the pawn? Well, if you were to taken with the pawn here, in such a okay. position, then you go long castle and these squares are very weak. So that's why he says, let's take with the knight, let me open up my bishop. And now long castle, I guess, from uh, black. I think black is doing really well practically, Sagar. Hena? Because after castling king long... is weak, no? Yeah. C5 is also going to come sometime. Yeah. This king is not in a good position not in a good on position E1. At all. Also, like, you know, F5, F4. This way, yeah? Yeah, just breaking the Oh, center. he goes rook G1. Rook G1, pinning the bishop. Pinning the bishop here. And if knight E4... I think knight e4, bishop e4. He's given up a pawn on c7, but Gukesh is like, who cares about that pawn? Yeah, I mean, as long as you're getting the initiative. Can I take this pawn directly here? Oh, it's a blunder, Samai. Because of bishop h3, oh. and that's a big problem. So, so actually, this H3 is a threat. Is in the air even now then? Yes. And so knight e4, deflect the bishop here, and then take it. If knight you take e4, with the pawn, can we go bishop h3 directly? Oh, you want to take here? Yeah. But then this knight comes and defends back. Ah, okay. And if you take here with the pawn here, then I go queen b3 attacking here, and now my rook can defend this way. So it's actually very complicated, guys. Let's see after and rook Gukesh g1. Gukesh has only one minute. Seconds no, no, no. One minute thirty-three seconds. Okay. And Arjun has two minutes. No, Arjun has now one minute eleven seconds. Arjun has gone low on time, Samai. After rook g1. And we have 39 minutes in this segment. Oh, man. To catch up to Arjun is not going to be easy. No, Sagar. no, no. Three I don't points. think Arjun should be right. And nice move by Arjun. Good move. Gukesh takes with the bishop. And now will Arjun be greedy and chop that pawn on c7, Samai? Actually, that pawn is not only a pawn. It stops long castling. I mean, you can go king d7 and manually long castle anyway. True, true. But more importantly, I'm interested in breaking the center with f4 and f5 and f4. Lelia. Can we go f5? He takes on c7 here. Can we go f5, Sagar? You want to play f5? It's not a bad idea to play, but then the bishop controls here. No, Samai, then how do we push f4? That is the question. Hmm. And now I think Gukesh will do the move you suggested. How about queen d7? d7? How about queen, uh, queen e7? Queen, but then I come back. And then Arthur and knight d4 ideas in the air. Oh, but queen takes, no? Ah. If I took here, yes, you would have opened it up. Right, 97 for, 93 beats for uh, Gukesh, 93 for Arjun. They are all in the same heartbeat range. Sagar, very stressful, you know, like, it's so many things you have to calculate. Yeah, I think Gukesh down to 43 seconds. He's making, he's not made his move. What is the most obvious move here? King f8 he played. No, I didn't never thought that he would play this move. 
King F8 is Why so strange. King F8? So strange. What's the point of this move here? Why did Gukesh not go to D7? What? Maybe, maybe he wants that square for his rook. Rook E8. But maybe he, ah, maybe he wants it. Oh yes, maybe he wants to bring his rook. But there. he would still get it from King F D7, right? Yeah, he thinks his king is safer here. Maybe then because then the queen would come to B3 and King D2. Not the best move by Arjun here. 35 seconds for Gukesh, 27 seconds for Arjun, guys. This is going down the wire. Very stressful. As with all the games that they have played, <laughs> it's going down to the Every wire. Every game has been crazy, you know. There's no game that's been like, oh, oh this is the Berlin draw. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is the <laughs> famous <laughs> Scandinavian defense. Everything is something crazy, man. <laughs> Fighters, that's what we call them. Bishop F4 on the board here. Okay, what to do now? Sagar, if you go and ask them no, after the game, uh, maybe uh, not right now, later, you can ask him uh, why did he play King F8 here? Mm. Because it's a very uh, absurd move. Oh, but look at this. Now he's given up a pawn. I think he's missed it. Gukesh has missed and he's lost on time. He's lost on time. Oh. Arjun has lost, uh, sorry, Gukesh has lost on time. Wow. Arjun has taken a lead of five points here. And there you go, all the Arjun fans clapping and cheering for their homeboy. And Gukesh is now under tremendous pressure. No, Gukesh pressure. is stunned because, you know, he had a position which was playable, but he just sort of froze and he lost on time. So the score now is 10-5 in oh the favor of Arjun. Now, Sagar, is this an onset of a tilt? It could be unless if Gukesh does not get back but you can see there Gukesh his look is uh, that of a man who wants to fight back you know he's sitting there guys can Gukesh make a comeback man look at how focused he is if Gukesh can make a comeback here that would mean really something because Arjun is playing top notch chess Whoa, usko, matlab, he's not even giving him an inch he's playing great chess great chess but now Gukesh has white pieces and somehow he needs to break this juggernaut. After this game, we will have a three-minute break. But for this, it's only one minute. Let's go. The break time is up. The players have to return to the board. What must be going on in, in his mind right now, Sagar? I'm not sure. Samai, one second. If Maybe we have a guest over here. Nicholas Jain, he wants to join in. Come, come Nicholas, bye. I'll, I'll just go around and have a look and come back. Huh. Okay, guys, as this begins, this is now the third game in the Blitz format of 4 plus 2. Let's see how this is going to pan out. Because now, uh, Gukesh has to fight back. He has 36 minutes in this segment. He opens with E4. He's like, Knight F3 business is done. Let's go E4. E4, E5. Knight F3, Knight F6 and Petrov on the board. Arjun is going for his trusted Petrov line in this moment. Knight to C3. Sagar, what are you thinking about going on in Gukesh's mind I, right now? I mean, Gukesh is just saying to himself, this is the game. If he wins this, he has, you know, he gets back, he gets back to 7. It will be 10-7. Yes, because, because now lead is improved in favor of Guk uh, Arjun now. Yeah, Queen Why? D2 and, and he'll long castle now. I believe he will long castle in this position. C6 played and Gukesh just waiting in his tracks there thinking should he long castle. Trying to remember his theory. He has prepared this at some point but maybe not today. Today his idea might have been to go knight f3, g3, bg2 but somehow Arjun has neutralized it. So now he's changed his tactics and gone for this. He plays c4. Oh, this is in, he wants to stop d5. Yeah, he wants to stop d5. Long, oh, castle long castle on the board. Wow, we have opposite side castling. These two youngsters knight playing d5. attacking chess. Knight c5 is game already. Oh, he takes it. He takes okay. on c5. D takes c5. And now d5 is open. Uh, uh, do you think he'll exchange? No, he goes I d3. I don't know. He, he went bishop d3. Okay. So now the bishop is well placed on the king side. He's looking at the h7 square. Bishop f6 played. 
and Sagar till now you see almost half half an hour is almost over yeah. and this is the third blitz game na uh, this is the third one yes okay so each blitz game takes around i mean uh, generally around 12 minutes yeah. so because we were thinking something like seven eight games we can see but no, no, maybe no. six games no, only no no six in blitz in bullet we might see seven, seven. or eight queen f4 has been played and i like gukesh's position here why because his bishop now is well positioned it's attacking the queen and the queen has actually very few squares to go to it can't go to c7 because the white queen looks there it can go to b6 to look at the b2 pawn yes. but then i just play b3, b3. and then i can and start g4, rolling H4, my g5 king side pawns yes. he goes queen b6 ah, b3 okay, no b3. he goes c3 here c3, not b3 okay, okay. which makes more sense yes, sort of not neutralize bishop and there is no weakness right now yes bishop e6 has been played on the board guys this is right. looking really good for gukesh h4 okay, yes h4 is already arrived what a move do you think there are some greek gift sacrifices in the maybe, maybe bishop h7 knight is ready g5. queen is ready e and maybe uh, rook can join any moment also sagar yes and this is a great position for gukesh he's gone all out on the attack h4 on the board yes, you, you have to adjust your style because if you yeah. if you if you're going down yeah. in a score you have to do something uh, for example let's say if you if you are come here with the mindset that i'll play solid chess and then you're trailing by 5 points suddenly you have to start attacking yes. because if you don't do it you just going to lose this match yes. and now and knight now g5 no, 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 knight g5 uh, let's go let's go this knight g5 move is quite think, straightforward and he yes, plays knight it yes knight g5 on the board now he plays it h6 here and now, now what do you do knight at 7 the rook is trapped the rook what, is trapped what, what, what? rook okay, is trapped so now, on now f8 i think okay so now he will get the exchange yes this is actually turning into a very quick victory maybe because he's winning material on f8 and f6 and yes he plays it and not only win also the confidence will back yeah this is going to be a huge confidence booster he goes bishop e7 picks up the rook on f8 and gukesh is clearly better here which wow. means that he might be able to pull back two points out of the five point deficit that he has right now remember guys in the blitz segment each win counts for only two points not three like in the original segment and in bullet it will count even less Mi that is one point Mi even arjun lost he will be lead by three points three points yes and also remember that right now we have 31 minutes left on the clock g4 on the board gukesh is like i won the exchange i'm still going to attack i'm going to go all out here this is just tremendous chess now g4 okay queen a5 great move and now he wants to attack the a2 pawn Let's go, King B1. I have to do something. I think. <laughs> okay, oh, King B1. He's going on the attack as well. Arjun saying, "Okay, I'm an exchange down, but I'm going to attack you." Oh, B5, B5, G5. What he went G5, G5. G5. Why? Why not G5? Nice. Ah, but 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 can we go H5, closing the position here? Maybe, 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 and why not? Yeah. Just try to slow down his attack. He Arjun goes played h5. H5. Arjun he goes played h5. h5. Now, now this is really but guys, okay. Now rook f e1. The engines give this as ah. plus Sa eight. Sagar, I'm, I'm advantage. Feel, I'm feeling in some moment maybe rook e6 will come. Yeah. Maybe no, in not some moment. What rook some e6 moment? Will come. This moment. Yes, rook yes, takes yes, e6. It's pinned. So this is a big threat here. Yes. Yes. Niklesh. Yes. No, no. Maybe maybe you will play king again back to g8, but rook e6 will come in any moment for sure because the light square will be in trouble. B d8. on the board okay now 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 what about queen d6 check <laughs> yeah that no. can be played queen to d6 or, or queen f3 queen f3 just queen f3 and attack the h5 pawn and c6 pawn but but i have to calculate about the c4 what, what do you think no i think right now maybe he might be looking at a simpler way to win how about trying to exchange off a few pieces i was just wondering if bishop f5 made any sense here but why to go passive if you still have lot of attack because it's still black attack is i think is far yeah it's possible i mean i think gukesh needs to sort of play a little fast as well because his victory would mean that he would pull back few points but he yes. would also be bleeding on time 
so he needs more time here in this yes, segment yes 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 because arjun tried to keep this game as long as possible yeah. even he's losing yes okay let's see a gukesh has to decide here okay he played g6 g6 sagar oh he went g6 here okay and now can we put our bishop on f6 just to protect it arjun goes bishop f6 good move there he's just solidified his position he took the e into f7 i think king is sagar no matter what but this king is really weak right now yeah that's a weak king but how do you break in maybe queen g3 queen g3 queen g6, queen g6. Queen g6. i think i think 102 i think okesh is winning but he is the hard rate time and 97 both players are around 90 in their heart rates bishop f5 bishop f5 i think gukesh now just trying to exchange of pieces because he's materially ahead yes yes and also the thing is if you take on c4 now there is rook d7 check there is yes, also maybe bishop yeah maybe rook d7 is very powerful uh, he played bishop f5 and what does arjun do here yes because i think arjun now arjun down to 1 minute this is this is this is going to be a really interesting fight sagar if gokes is going to win this match let's see let's see can can you tell us what happened in anish and uh, vidit game who was leading in start no at the start of course vidit was leading he had a huge lead in the match a 3 point lead at some point then actually 2 point lead then anish pulled it back and when we went into the bullet segment after i think the first game it was all equal after 11 games here i think arjun has started off excellently and has a 5 point lead we have a ch change in scoring system that's the point and by the way look at arjun's time he's gone down to 15 seconds queen takes oh. f5 taken rook takes e1 i think the way in which arjun is making his moves you can sense it that he has sort of given up hope here because there's no counter play but here he's just he will try to no just take on h5 i think yes 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 take on h5 now that pawn is free so he takes he take queen into h5 exchange up position is up g6 i think maybe queen e2 come back to house yeah maybe queen e2 or queen h7 yeah he goes queen f3 ha huh, just okay he takes the pawn and now queen takes c6 c6 might be possible but also rook d1 just hit the queen i think this is just matter of how uh, technique how to finish the game i think gokesh will win this game sure but arjun want to take this game as long as possible yes after this we will have a 3 minute break and then we will go to the remaining blitz segment queen to f5 played wow. now even h5 pawn is crucial yeah okay arjun is still okay they have exchanged the queens but i think uh, here it's just uh, simple you just bring your king yeah. up and this looks like over yeah king c1 good technique okay. by gukesh g4 and brings the king up c4 rook e4 and now g4 is hanging he can pick C4 up that pawn c4 is hanging and resignation there gukesh strikes back the score is 710 now wow, and wow, we have a 3 wow. minute break incoming Arjun there not very happy with the result but he still has a 3 three, three point lead in the match you can see, you can see the body language how 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 gukesh feel you can see you know clearly, gukesh what you know what gukesh asked and there he you uh, know he pays his uh, respects to the board uh, and he asked is this time going to run in the break because then i don't <laughs> want the break you know i want to play and the arbiter said no 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 in the break the time doesn't run you can just relax and there you see arjun saying i forgot the line or something of that sort gukesh sitting alone you know gukesh is that kind of a person who needs his space during a tournament he wants to think on his own and he's now thinking what should i do he scored a win momentum is on his side but he's 3 points down it's 10 7 Arjun still in the lead guys how are you enjoying in the chat we have close to 7000 people here and so what do you think what's going on in gukesh mind right now try to read some his mind sagar shah i think what he's thinking right now is arjun has been playing d4 and my ragozin has not been working and i really need to find an antidote against it Sa sagar So then
there is no antidote against that opening that for gukesh that has worked until now and so he needs to figure it out because arjun will go d4 once again and you need to figure that out as gukesh we cannot really have the camera on arjun because he goes outside the premises into the vanity van over there and then he comes back so when he's coming back we can show you but gukesh sits there you know he doesn't go back guys what do you think about this entire event that's happening is it exciting for you oh there he is he didn't go to the vanity van he was just hanging in there and he was just talking to his buddy ritwik raja it's nice to always you know discuss with someone but look at the stark difference in styles between both of them arjun talking with his friend saying bye there feeling good you know just relaxing a bit chilling while gukesh he wants no one he just wants to focus karan shah says what a feel what an event anish Ti ashish tiwari says what a comeback what a match it was arjun 10 gukesh 7 if tie after all format yes there will be an armageddon Vishnu Nair says very professional production value thank you Prachi, Pratichi says absolutely incredible event and these players are incredible as per usual <laughs> yes and the game has started oh my god the next game has begun and we have the fourth blitz game but this time it was Arjun who changed and we can have the board there i can just show you i thought Arjun will go d4 but Arjun said i want to go C4. Uh, yeah, but I mean, we are anyway be able to look at the clock. We don't need to have the clock there. B G seven, knight F three, E six, D three, knight E seven, bishop D two, D six, A three. Maybe in time pressure, director Saab, we can have this view. But for now, we can get the caster's view and also the chessboard. Yeah, that would be great. H4 played there and H6. So Gukesh hasn't castled. He's played his pawn to H6. Is Arjun going for an attack here with H4, H5? Gukesh has played H6 so that if you play H5 here, he will meet it with G5. But then he goes Rook B1, trying for B4, and Gukesh also stops it with A5. Queen C1 played, attacking the pawn on H6, and joining me is Amruta Mokal here. Hello, Amruta, how are you? Hello, I am good. Sagar, where is your partner? Well, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Amruta, what has been your feeling of this match? You have been watching it at close quarters. Yes, it is going uh, very exciting as well as I think it is very tense. Uh, Gukesh must make a comeback, hmm. and last game the way he fought, um, it's not easy with so much pressure. So, look at the heart rate as well. when he is winning as we now all know the heart rate is going to increase for anybody in right, fact right. which is other but otherwise look at their heart rates they are so much in control the, the control of nerves I is what we can easily see from this player absolutely and when we compare it to our death match one we see that their control is so much higher yes absolutely because there the heart rates were just going off the charts guys they moved to 150 and 160 and so on while these guys the highest as chat mentioned was 131 until now when gukesh was winning in one of the yeah. games but that too was very rare yes okay. very rare and sagar what's happening in this game i like how gukesh has actually sort of thwarted all of arjun's ideas mm -hmm. because arjun wanted to play h5 he went h6 so that he can meet with g5 arjun wanted to play b4 he stopped it with a5 and now it seems like an exciting position anything can happen he's played h5 g5 on the board And Arjun sacks. Oh my oh, God! He sacrificed the piece. Oh, this is exciting. Piece. But guys, is this a correct and sacrifice? No, the engine says no. But Arjun says, 
I don't need the engine. Yeah, it's a practical blitz game, and it will work here. And look at his heart rate from 85. It is slowly after the sack increasing. No, Amrita. To 95. <laughs> Only 10. Yeah, he's, he's <laughs> cool. He's cool. <laughs> no, no. That's what I'm saying. It should hmm. it should increase quite a lot, right? Right. But it's right, not. Right. It's it's in control. But 94, Amruta, what a move this is by Arjun because he's looking at the D6 pawn. But I must tell you, Sagar, what Arjun has taken a decision in Blitz looks really good. Looks really good because he's putting Gukesh under more pressure because yeah. Gukesh needs to fight back. And there and you these have. These are the difficult positions. I agree with you, Amruta. That pressure. was a very, very interesting choice because now knight f5 was played to defend d6. But how do you dislodge these two knights? This knight cannot be kicked by no, a but pawn. First question this is knight what about cannot. G4. First question. Like ah, you want to natural, push this away? I mean, but the natural move. You know, Amruta. Then he goes bishop h6, hitting the queen first. Bapre. Is it he can a counter attack? It's a counter attack. Yeah, and I'm if you sure go g5, I'll then have a permanent knight. And if you go queen d1, then hey, I will g5, move the knight. Bishop g7 h6 isn't your bishop getting trapped? Okay, this is a crazy position for me. I mean, he played g4, Amruta. I mean, exactly. And now, now, Gukesh must find bishop h6. How easy or difficult is that move? I would say after bishop h6, the calculation must go on. Like the show must go on. So okay, okay. So what if g5? G5, the bishop go. He finds it. He finds it. Bishop oh, at six. Suddenly, Gukesh has pumped up his level. You know, he's like, I need to play out of my skin to beat Arjun, and he's playing really good chess. Yes, I mean, uh, I agree with you. In fact, in the break, he sits in the corner. Oh, I don't know what he thinks. I don't know what he thinks, Amruta. The way he just sits there and think, looks in the sort of vacuum. Yes. And he's like, <laughs> like this. I mean, that is something <laughs> that is beyond me. I no, don't understand. That is something to actually learn that in spite of this loss, you are there right in the crowd believing in yourself. Absolutely. Biggest lesson we can take away. And Amruta G5, you know the move he wants to play? Yes. It's like the bishop is trapped because if you go here, there is H6. But the move is... One second. Guys, anyone can find it. Uh, now in you've the taken... That mouse uh, on f7, Aki move a chicken. Nay, Nam, Ruta, what galat move? I tricked you. The move is rook g8. Because if you take here, your bishop is hanging. Oh Otherwise, God. you lose the pawn. And this pawn here, he goes g5. And now, <gasps> oh, he finds he it. No. Oh, he finds Within it. A second, he plays. Man, Gukesh found that move so quickly. Wow. What chess. But look, Sagar Gukesh was not worried for his sacrifice at all. And in Take. fact, it has become an emotional decision, which I thought was no, very Rook good one. No, Rook G2. Now, Gukesh is completely better here after Queen F4. But still, when your king... But, yeah, when your king is exposed... Yeah, you always feel the pinch, Amruta. Kuch bhi ho sakta Kuch bhi ho sakta hai. And look at the time. Gukesh has two minutes. Arjun has one minute. So that is also in Gukesh's favor. If he wins this, it will be 10-9. Then the Baap match pere. would be really heating Baap up. Then it will be something else, friends. I'm saying that Sagar will make a Hindi movie. His name is something else. It's just like this end. Okay. Amruta, Queen E7 played here. Okay. And now... What should white play? King F1 again comes uh, to the mind quickly mm. because you are kicking that rook away. Right. Jayega ka? Piche chale jayenge. We'll go back. We'll go to, let's say, here to G8. Okay. The other move which comes to the mind for take Arjun on D6? is. Take on D6. Take on D6. No, if you take, aata, you can't take with this because there's a mate. Oh. He takes with the other knight. Yes, that was the move. And okay. now you must take with the knight, correct? Right, right. He takes, because and now you must take with the queen, because if you take with the knight, it's a mate. Okay. And now what's the move here, Amruta? I think Firstly, can you not exchange the queens? Yes, we can. Let's take, let's take, and put our bishop out and be peace up. Oh, that's happening. That's, that's happening. happening on the that's board. happening, and I think Gukesh is in control, guys. Bishop g4 on the board, attacking. Hey, but why is it not a good move? The bar doesn't like it. Because there king f1. Reason. King f1. Can Arjun find this? This is the move, and oh, he goes king d2. Okay, King F1, rookie to rook G1 aara tha kya? Yes, we that was that. actually the point, Amruta, that the bishop and is bishop running H5? out of squares after knight F7. If you take here, I take your rook. Oh, and King if you go here, mate, 
क्या मेट है सो दैट वाज द सॉर्ट ऑफ सटल पॉइंट्स देयर बट किंग डी टू रुकी टू किंग सी थ्री नाइट बी फोर बट अर्जुन हैड वेरी लेस टाइम टू थिंक अबाउट दैट या आई एग्री नीडेड टाइम दैट्स द रीजन बट नाउ ही इज लॉस्ट बिकॉज़ ही इज अ पीस डाउन एंड दैट्स ओवर यस this is getting over and guys these two youngsters are going to give us an entertaining night that's all that i can say i don't know who's going to win but we are going to witness a score line which will be 10 9 after we started at what time amruta we did we start at 5:30 i think around 5:30 uh, i think 5:45 50 something like that so like, like let's say after two and half hours of play mm. it is just one point separating yeah. the two But okay, let me not count right now the point yes. before it's actually over it. because anything can happen. Three, two, oh, he loses five. the rook. He okay, loses the rook there, and b6. Now he's a complete rook down. But Arjun is still playing, and you can see Arjun is visibly worried. You know, there his look is little tense. He's a little tensed for sure. Ah, you think so? Okay. Yeah. I mean, because two back-to-back -back losses mm -hmm. will definitely impact the confidence level. Rook a8 played. What is that move? Can he take rooks? Oh, there's a mate on a3. What a nice idea! Very alert. <laughs> and now he sacrificed even a a piece there. Arjun really trying to somehow muddy the waters. Hey, but in b6 pawn, is there any kind of a danger there? Why? ये कितना मतलब he's com complicating it to no yes. end. Oh What my goodness! This is going. He's a rook and a piece down. And losing those two pawns, is there any way in which he can swindle here? Queen will be made. C5. Bas. Now the pawn is coming. Pawn C. Baap re, thoda to check. He has to calculate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gukesh has to be careful. But no, I think he's he's now okay. If you take the rook, two pawns, two pawns versus two pieces. No, no, we are uh, un, like overestimating <laughs> the chances. But I like the fight. I like the attitude. Yeah, oh, sure. I like I liked how uh, Arjun created his chances there. At least you know he put. Gukesh under big tension, and even now Gukesh is heart rate is rising up. You see, hundred and fifteen, hundred and sixteen, hundred going on, going down. मतलब he knows now. Yeah, he knows this is over. He knows. That's when you kind of relax a little bit. And Gukesh has to make those final calculations. These two pawns and the king are they going to be really menacing? No, he brings the king, and Gukesh knows if you push the b pawn, that's over. He pushes. Brings this king, king c7, king e7, okay, and, and Arjun resigns. Gukesh wins. Arjun resigns. Back. The score is 10-9. Wow! What a game that was, and what a crowd we have here cheering for both the players. This is really fun to watch because you know there are supporters for both of them. Exactly. That's the whole point. Equal supporters. It was not so easy. तू आया वापस तेरा टिकट कैंसिल कर दे तू नहीं जा रहा है बस आई गॉट टू नो दिस यू नॉट गोइंग देखो क्या ओवर वर्क कर रहा है ओ समय यू हैव अ फ्लाइट इन व्हाट टाइम समय धोखा दिया है ये धोखेबाज है ओके अमृता कितना खुश है सागर जी ने आज बाय लुक एट दिस अर्जुन Uh, Gukesh has made a comeback. The score is nine ten. Are you going to go away, Saman? Please reschedule your flight. Oh, there's no other flight. This is the last flight <laughs> no, you from Hyderabad to Bombay. This. You can't miss this. I will this, be Samai. watching it from the phone, bro. Oh, but guys. what a match, man! You know, actually, you this know, tradition of Saman leaving the Chess Base India Originals death match <laughs> is turning into a sort of very interesting tradition. one. Yeah, yeah, you were saying something. I was saying that there's a very big event happening on the other side of our venue. See, they moth is performing. I just said hi to them over there. What energy they also have. Acha. Yeah, it's like very explosive. Oh, of course we we know see they moth. They are amazing band. They have also made a chess song. And right now Gukesh is just very very ultra focused and he wants to now narrow down that one point deficit as well and now bullet is going to start saga nahi 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 abhi tak blitz chal raha hai bhai acha aur ek time hai aur ek ha how much time do you have we also need My a timer my flight is at 10:30 10:30 so what time do are you leave one hour away okay guys i have to reach by 9:30 9:30 so 8:30 so it that will be very cutting it very sharp so you know? 8 after this game 
Okay, after this game, let's go. Okay, run. guys, we have somewhere for the final game here, and then oh, we man. <laughs> let's have some fun. Arjun, are you guys see with the Shubham. black pieces? Cap, manga, dena, Shubham. D4, Knight F6, C4 on the board. It's a queen's gambit decline. E oh, we have to. Oh, what is this variation? We have to get the board in. They are playing some I, some kind of a s Nimzo Indian or what? What was it? We need to. No, no, it's not a Nimzo. It started as a Queen's Gambit decline. Then he pushed uh, C5. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Guys, we need to get the board. Tarash. This is a Tarash, yeah? That's what the chat is saying. Apart from Bevafa Samai. Unable to. Tomorrow morning I have a very interesting shoot, Sagar. Acha? It's with. Uh, not sure if I'm allowed to reveal it. Huh. But I guess it's okay. We can break rules. It's a shoot with Sara Ali Khan. Oh. Wow. Very you know, Sara Ali Khan has four letters that Sagar has. So you chose four letters over five. Oh. <laughs> okay. Arbiter Saab, can I get the game? Please. This is the Blitz game. It's not working. Please send me the link. We need to have the board up there. For now, it seems like Gukesh has three minutes, 30 seconds. Arjun has 3 minutes 39 seconds. It's a standard position on the board. Rook E1 played. But that's a huge thing, Samai, tomorrow. Yeah, it's yeah, a big it's shot, a shoot. Big, uh, and uh, uh, guys, this is a great, great one for Samai. And we are all going to have great fun. Watching when it comes out. Yeah, maybe I can also ask her to play a chess game and oh, see. Oh, that where would she be stands. great. That would be great. Yes, maybe we have it now. Do we have yes, it? Yes, we have the board. Awesome. We have the board and it's ready. Can we have the board, guys? So let me just very quickly run you through. It was d4, knight f6, c4, e6, knight f3, d5. We had the Tarash defense on the board. Can we get the board? Director Saab. Knight d5 it was a semi tarash. Yes, take, take, and then we had the hanging pawns on the board. Okay, and then queen c7, a4. And you know what Gukesh says to Arjun, take this pawn, I'll just play here, and I will, I'm fine. This is my analysis because I'll get my rook here quickly. So then it so happened, knight d7, a5, he defended, he put his bishop here. Castles, bd7, rook e1, b6, a6. He's pushed the pawn in, b5, and now knight e5. Once again, Gukesh is better. You know, Samai, I thought that at some point it would be Gukesh who might tilt because Arjun had five point lead. But if Gukesh wins this, he would win three in a row, he would take the lead, and it would be in some way that Arjun is going on a tilt. Then the bullet section will start. Then Sagar. the bullet. And in bullet, it's like a lottery. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. But as they have, many people have mentioned that Arjun is the slight favorite there. He's very quick. I'm sure that they've always followed Arjun's online bullet. Ah. Because there's pre-moving and everything. Right. That's another skill. Right. Oh, that's very well pointed but out, Samai. Over the board, hardly any bullet stuff happens. Yeah. So and it's not bullet. It's not 1-0. It's 1 minute plus 2 second increment. H5 played on the board. Ah. Maybe H6 to prevent H6. Yes, that seems like a good idea. But you know, Samai, there was one point where actually instead of Queen F3, he could have taken on D7 and gotten the bishop pair in the position. And that would have been very, very good for White. A very positive position here. But instead of that, he goes Queen F3 and h4, h5, f6 played, knight g4. And why can't you take this pawn? Uh, why can't you Please take don't this blunder. Pawn? Please don't blunder. 
समय अरे देख लिया मुझे लगा आप ये चेक बोलोगे Rookie six is the correct move, so he can't take it. So he went bishop f7, h6, bishop f4. Wow! Again, it's a crazy position once more. Had they had even one normal game? <laughs> <laughs> Such fighters! Such fighters they are. But from a match POV, it's way neck to neck. It's what we had hoped for, right? Yes. Absolutely, absolutely. And guys, if let's say this game ends before the clock turns zero, you see that mobile phone there, which is showing the time. If this game ends before that turns zero, we will have one more blitz game. And it will go on until it ends. Yes. It's not like no, no, no. This time gets zero, then it's no. stopped. No. We will have one more blitz game. And by remember, knight e3 once again the best move in the position played by Gukesh. What a nice move by him. Because now there is pressure here, and if you take knight e3, I will take with the bishop. If you take with the bishop, I'll take with the rook, and this is all weak, very weak. How how do you prevent uh, losing the pawn on g7 then? Mm. You can't. I think it's a very tough position. He's taken with the bishop, but now you can take with the pawn, Samai, and push it with e4. Oh, that's a good idea. He takes with the pawn. Good move there. Excellent. And I he goes. Gukesh is just going to win this game. Yes, I think so. I think so. Because Now he can. He has just very comfortable play. Chop the pawn there, and you can see there Gukesh, just sort of easing in there. He has, and also on the time, Samai, his time management has been much better. So now. I'm actually thinking, what is Arjun going to do to turn this around? Not just this game, but this match. Is he waiting for the bullet to start? Guys, this is what sports is all about. You know, you have these emotions. If you talk in the terms of tennis, we can say that first set went to Arjun, second set went to Gukesh. And now it's all one all, and then we are going into the final. But the second set went to Gukesh, so the momentum is with him. If it's a three-setter, also when you play Knight so many games back to back, right? You start seeing patterns in your opponent's play, and you start understanding that okay, this is how he plays. This is what I should do. So, with time, Gokesh is understanding Arjun's exactly. weaknesses. Exactly, you are so correct. You are so correct. And with this, actually, Arjun can also feel at some point that Gokesh might be getting difficult to beat. Yeah. And now Bishop takes c3. Queen takes c3 and b d7 is a powerful move, hitting the rook and the e6 pawn. And there's no way to defend. No. E so e7 pawn, e6 pawn. Absolutely not. Knight c3 on the board and Gukesh actually calculating here. Just for all the people who are watching this, not at the venue but on live stream, if you're just new here, Gukesh and Arjun are two of India's best young talents. Currently, India number one is Vishy Anand. India number two is Vidit Gujarati, but India number three is Ar is Gukesh. India number four is Arjun, and they both are in the top 25 in the world, and they are fighting against each other. It's literally like neck to neck, right? He's world number 24. He's the world yes, number 25. Yes. They're just <laughs> they're so close. Healthy competition. And by the way, he's taken. And King H8 on the board, so that all that same line happened. He found B D7, he found Bishop E6, and this is on the board. I think now we can go H G7. Otherwise, the opponent, like otherwise Arjun will go uh, G H, right? Yes. Because now the pawn on F6 is not hanging anymore. And he goes Queen A5. So H G now? H G, I think H G. And by the way, while both these players are under time pressure, we have Samay also who's coming under time pressure here. <laughs> He has to catch his flight. Samay, please inform us whether you will make it to your flight or not. If you miss your flight, please come back. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go on the uh, on a cycle, <laughs> but I have to make it tomorrow, man. <laughs> Bye, come back. We will do the Armageddon. Then you take the cycle. D five. Takes on A six. And rook c7, the rook jumps in. Is it going to be difficult for Gukesh to finish this off, Samai? 
I think it's a simple position for Gukesh, right? Now he's just gonna get his other rook in the game. How? Rook c1, maybe? Yeah, I mean rook c1 or rook b. Oh, rook b7. You no, 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 this no, didn't no, he happen. Wants to get to oh, this b7. happened. If you take here, this is a mate. Oh. I thought he was going to plunder a rook or what. Wow, Gukesh very sharp. And queen d3 played, hitting this rook here. Rook moves to b7. And now the threat is rook at 7. Check. And yeah, there we I see. I mean, you can anyway go rook at 7, right? Oh, now you can't. Arjun is trying to get a draw in with this perpetual, but I think queen h3 is possible. Just or even bishop h3. Yes, even bishop h3. And Gukesh is right now, he's played queen h3, but Gukesh is timed. Somewhere he has only 7 seconds. He might blunder here. Gukesh, you can't lose on time. You already lost one game. He goes g3. H5, what happened? Oh, there he actually tilted. And so Gukesh sort of pressed the clock and said, please adjust it in your time. There you see the competitive spirit is kicking in. Not taking the queen. A5 on the board. Playing this is very seconds. tough. Very tough, Look guys. With three seconds. Kukesh, Kukesh has only two seconds left. He takes. He's playing fast now and he's pushing his pawn. Gukesh knows he's can, he can win this. He's pushing his pawn. Bishop E8. D7 on the board. Winning a piece. But the A pawn is still there. Is this going to be trouble? No, the bishop can always go back, Samai. Bishop can always go back. He takes on G5. Oh, if A2. My goodness. Is, is, is that pawn unstopped? Rook, rook d2? Rook d2? Yeah, this is winning. Uh, this is winning. This is winning. Not two so points. easy, Sagar. No? Look at that pawn on a2. No, this is winning, Samai. Come on. Come on, Sagar. He just took no. Now two pawns up. Is oh, this now it's maybe? Winning. No, maybe some technical difficulties here. Arjun has oh, defended oh, oh. this very time, well. Time, time, time. No, but now both have enough time, Samai. Both have enough time. Both have enough time, guys. Gukesh has around. Yeah, we can show the clock now over there. But but I think this is fine. This is fine. Both have 10 seconds. We can keep this view. Oh, he's going there. He's ready to give up a pawn. Rook takes e4. Because, oh, rank cut off. Samai, rank cut off. Ye dekho, yahan se pura cut off ho gaya. It's sometimes even oh, more. Oh, this is my threat. No, he, he spotted it. And now Lucena coming in. Lucena on the board. Pushing there. and It's not Lucena yet. Yes, it is. But the king has to be behind the pawn for Lucena, right? No. It is Lucena. Now it's going to no. be Lucena. If this <laughs> happens in the last round. Oh, it is, it is <laughs> Lucena. All right, all right. It is Lucena. If you want Lucina. to become a great player, you should learn Lucena. And nice. Samai, as you are going, guys, Gukesh has won. We will have one more game in this segment. 11-10. Gukesh is leading here. Lucena is coming. And Lucena Aya and Samay Jara of Lucena Aya. Alright, Sagar Bhai, I shall Guys, see you. Can we have the camera on Samay here? He's about to leave, but what a great entertainment we had, Samay. We're going to miss you so much. I'm going to miss you too, Sagar Bhai. I'm going to see you soon in Mumbai. We live 25 minutes away now. Yes. And uh, let's catch up. Let's play a lot of chess. And please play a game with Sara Ali Khan. For sure. Of for chess. sure. For sure. Of course. And. Let's have Amruta back here so that she can join us in commentary. The taxi is waiting here. Chat, please bye say bye goodbye chat. to Samai. Good night and all the best. You're in for a treat. The bullet section is going to be so no, epic. One more and blitz. before that, we have one more blitz game. That will decide who has the momentum in the bullet yeah, section. Absolutely. Can we also have a camera on Arjun? Look at Arjun there. He didn't go back, Samai. He wants now time he wants alone. To say bye to me, I think. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Samai. See you, see bye. You. See you, Love Samai. You, bye. Bye bye. And now Arjun looking more I under said. pressure and Gukesh less under pressure. Wow, look at how the chips have turned, guys. From 10 5, the score has moved to 11 10. Gukesh showing that he's not someone you can take lightly under time pressure. He was under one second there, guys. At one point, he had one second, but he kept his cool. He made his moves calmly and he is leading 11 10. Can you come in quickly? No, you come. And guys, we have a young kid here who's joining in. I'm going to ask him only one question. I'll sign your book later. You tell me, how are you enjoying this match? I'm enjoying nice. Nice? Who's your favorite, Gukesh or Arjun? Who do you think will win? They go to the grandmaster. Yes. yes. Anyone? Gukesh will win. Oh my god. Here's a Gukesh fan. And hi, what about you? Who do you think will win? Arjun. Arjun. 
Okay, guys, you both now have to go there and wait to see who will win. Will it be your favorite or your favorite? Okay, I'll sign this later. Good luck. Bye. Guys, so many young kids here in the venue. They are following this match between these two champions. They are inspiring so many youngsters here with their fighting skills. And for now, you need to witness how Arjun is going to make a comeback. Because if Arjun can score a comeback here, he will once again lead the match going into the bullet segment. Let's go to the blitz final blitz game, guys. Two points for it. 11-10. Let's go. Gukesh gets up from his chair. He's wearing a Waka jacket. Guys, Waka is the West Bridge Anand Chess Academy. And Gukesh is playing with his jacket while Arjun has taken off his jacket. Was he playing without the jacket until now? And anyway, this is the final Blitz game and it will go till the end. Yeah, there is no like 2 minutes 42 seconds only. It will go till the end. D4 played on the board. Guys, score is 11-10, right? 11 in favor of Gukesh, 10 for Arjun. And we have the board now. Let's go. Here we have the board. We have... Oh, Gukesh, this is Arjun's favorite opening. I, I know he's used this opening to beat so many players. Also, he's used it to beat Lanier Dominguez. F3, Nimzo Indian. F3 variation in the Nimzo Indian and Gukesh must have prepared against it because this is Arjun's weapon. But Arjun is so confident about this weapon that he's saying to himself that I can actually sort of play it. I know more stuff here. B takes C4, Bishop takes C4 and now Bishop A6. He takes on A6, Knight A6 has been played and the position is equal. And White has castled here. And as we are commentating, we have Amruta Mokal joining in. Amruta, aren't yes. we witnessing just the most amazing matchup? Uh, Director Saab, can we have the score on the bottom of the screen? Yes. yes. We have 11 points for Gukesh, 10 for Arjun. Final blitz game. E takes D5, Knight takes D5, Knight takes D5. And I must tell the viewers, what are they playing for? They are playing for the title of the deathmatch champion. Secondly, 3 lakh rupees to the winner. 2 lakh rupees to the runner-up. And also, there is a belt to be won, which is actually a very prized position with engraving of the faces of both these champions on that belt. So, a lot to play for. There's also a winner's trophy. Yeah. And a check. You know, there's a lot of things. We'll see <laughs> all of that. <laughs> D5. Five-minute break after this game. So, Zagar, this is the last game where the point system is going to be two points yes. for one win. Yes. Right? Yes. And by the way, I really like how Gukesh has played in the center. But look at Arjun's last move. He's blasted wow. open the center with B4 and he's telling Gukesh. Such a good move. If you take here, then I will just chop off your bishop. Oh, it's that long distance thing. Yeah. And also, it was very important not to take here because bishop B6 and then the pawn would have come to D3 and you would lose material. So here he went B4. And now, let's see what's going to happen. what can he play now, Gukesh? Like, I don't see a good move, a good defense. Because if you go bishop b6, you're losing the c5 pawn. What do you do? Good question, Amruta. I mean, you really need to find some amazing move, maybe? Is that the case? I think you need to find... Uh, he goes g6. That was the best move. Oh. To move the queen. And you still can't take it because bishop b6. If there is an only move to be found... You can bank on these youngsters to find it. Right. They so are so good. So then is the only move queen e5, but then the another counter attack, rook e8. So, Sagar, the queen is not able to sustain itself on the diagonal, yeah. uh, on the rank. The, it doesn't have squares. But if it goes back, then don't you lose the b4 pawn? He goes queen at 6, Amruta. And he wants to go bishop g5 and maybe try to checkmate oh. on the dark squares. It That's could scary. be an idea. That's scary. But no, you have f6 always. Like when you go bishop g5, there is f6. Mm. So now, now he can you take. take. But again, you lose the d4 pawn and white. I really like white's position. Okay, I'm gonna, then I'll go bishop throwing. here. If you take, I'll take with the bishop. Achha. Is that possible? Yes. So right now he has two choices. Bishop b6 or take the pawn. 
taking the he yeah he was bishop, bishop is it's more natural but after bishop b6 uh, right now white is going to take the pawn that's what he showed right b takes c5 yeah, bishop takes yeah. c5 yeah yeah but he's taken yeah he's taken it hey our position is wrong no no how g6 ho gaya hai ah sorry g6 queen at 6 bishop b6 takes takes yeah Knight to f4 on the board, and by the way, guys, you can see there the timer has ended. It's now zero zero, so this is going to be the final game in this segment. Knight to e6 played, and Amruta. Yeah. This is looking good. Knight e6. Let's say if I take here, he'll take with the f pawn. Black is doing okay. If it's a draw. Gukesh will keep one point lead. No, but I think they don't draw games. Amruta, <laughs> they just keep fighting on and on. F five on the board. Bah, What does Arjun do next now? Queen to H three played by Arjun, and he's like, if you take on E four, I will take on E six. So you can't take, but anyway, I think Black is now uh, able to, you know, have that D four pawn, which is the most solid thing in the position. Hmm. He went queen d6. Queen d6 on the board. The bishop on c1 must develop Sagar, but he, look at it. It doesn't have e3, f4, g5. It could go to h6, but it's not a good place. Yeah. I think that is a big problem. The bishop's activity. Tell me something. Is it not going to be psychologically difficult for Arjun because he lost last at least three games? Yeah, back absolutely. Back and losing three games is never easy. I agree. F E four played Amruta and Queen E five. I think Arjun slowly getting the advantage here. If he manages to play Bishop H six and the point, let me show you the point. If you play Bishop H six, then there is Rook F seven on the board, and then mm -hmm. you go Rook F one and you are taking over the F file because you can't bring your Rook here. Oh. That is the key point. Nice point, absolutely. So Bishop H six is mm. the right time to develop. Oh yes, there is a big rule here, by the way, guys, which you must remember. If there is a draw offer, it's lost, and they have been told about it, and they actually were like, "Yeah, of course, we know this rule. We'll <laughs> we apply it in our life in every in tournament. Life. <laughs> <laughs> Even when draws are allowed, we don't offer draws, so there is no problem." Actually, it's a good point you mentioned in life as well, because you don't want to get stagnant, <laughs> right? <laughs> they, yeah, there, there's Haro no, no half measures for them. Always go the distance. Yes. So no, there's something about these two youngsters which mm. really makes you feel like you know no one is going to give up. Don't you get that feeling? Like at some point when Arjun was five points up, mm. I felt that Gukesh will make a comeback. And now that Gukesh is playing really well, I do feel that Arjun is going to make comeback. Like it's they are not going to give in. Wh That's what, for sure. What what quality you think? Like what is that something? It's that Can it's the fact that when under pressure they mm. rise up to the occasion. That's mm. the thing about them. they are not sort of bog they don't get bogged down under pressure ki oh i'm losing a game oh this they like let's find a way how do i come out of it knight to g5 played by gukesh but this is a mistake because after bishop g5 queen g5 knight c7 hitting this rook 96 forks oh this sentence oh my goodness this. that's a tactical that's a mess. huge blunder by gukesh here will but, arjun spot but it but even if it is a blunder sagar it's a little weird because the knight goes no, to c7 and it. then the knight goes to e6 he'll yes. see it he takes oh, he it he takes it, it. If and he now takes knight it, c7 it. now knight won't. c7 is yes he finds it that is a great move by arjun and guys see and i think gukesh missed because it was suddenly happening on the queen side yeah. like uh, a very weird way of forking i would say absolutely and amruta now not only is the rook attacked but knight e6 mm. is coming with this fourth and also rook 25 eight. seconds with gukesh 1 minute ahead is arjun yes knight f8 bishop f8 on the board and this time it's Guk arjun who is an exchange up and yes. i think he'll convert it without too many trub too much trouble what do you think amruta um i mean I mean, I have, we have seen their fights. The d until the d4 pawn exists, I think it's still going to be a fight. But oh, after that, it's tough. He actually threatened a mate in one here. 
Oh, but look, Gukesh has three seconds or how much time? Yeah, yeah, he has very little time. Five seconds on the clock. Arjun has one minute, 19 seconds. And he goes rook b2. Uh, Arjun, this extra time is going to help him for Queen sure. Queen c4 check. Queen uh, is getting cool in. Very cool move. Very cool move. Rook f2 played here. Rook f1. Arjun just making sure he exchanges the pieces and he will be winning. Rook f1. Rook takes f1. And now what did he do? King g7. Amrutan. Yes. Maybe just king g2. Bring your king up. Calm yeah, position. He goes queen really f3. Have much. Attacking f7. The problem is black king is also pretty weak. Yeah. A4. A5. Gukesh has 7 seconds here. Queen to f7. And when it comes to converting winning positions, I think there's no one better than Arjun. You know, mm -hmm. he does it well. He does it well. There yeah, you queen have F4 queen trade. Move. I think Gukesh could sort of call it a day here because he's so much down materially. He's an exchange down, but also he has a central pawn. This is not going to be easy to hold. King is coming not up and this is this is over. That Bishop G5, uh, Arjun was very quick to spot yeah, the yeah, tactic, by yeah. the way. And you know, after three losses, sometimes you get bogged down, you don't see it, but Arjun mm -hmm. saw it. So that means he's turned yeah. it around before going into the bullet segment, which could be Arjun's strength. That's what everyone's been talking about. He has one point lead, which makes him a heavy favorite in this matchup. But Amruta, as someone pointed out, this is not online bullet. This is over the board mm. bullet and there is small difference. First of all, there is increment. So it's not like hardcore bullet, but okay. One second. Am I just being too soon? Ah, no, he no, takes I that. Don't think he so. takes that yeah. and resignation there. Arjun has won 12, 11. He struck back. We have a break of five minutes here. Amruta, can we just go and talk a bit yes, to the players? Please, you have to go very quickly. Yeah. Why don't you run away? <laughs> Why don't you run away? That was funny. Let's see if this time Sagar is able to catch up with the speed of these players. Sagar, you have to be very quick, okay? I hope while running, he doesn't fall. <laughs> players seem more relaxed now after this one. Look at Arjun walking very slowly. Are they planning to be on the stage or how is it? Okay. Yeah, I can't hear you. But, guys, can you hear me? Yes? Okay. Everyone can hear me. Gukesh, until now, the score is 12-11. 12. How do you find the flow of this match going? We are going into the last segment. Yeah. Um, after the second blitz game, he had a, he had a considerable lead. But, um, and then I hit back three games. And the last game, uh, okay, he played well. Um, yeah, it seems like an interesting match. So 30 minutes left. Yeah. And everything to play for. So good luck. I'm going to let you take your time here. And Arjun, very quickly, how does it feel to sort of stop the bleeding? You know, you're losing three games in a row and now you're struck back. Uh, yeah, I feel good that I managed to win this game. But earlier I had a big lead and I lost three games in a row. That was a bit painful, especially the wide game. I just went bonkers for no reason. And now, time to take some rest and let's hope for the best. Good luck to you. And guys, how are you enjoying this matchup between two of the finest players of our country? They are playing tremendous chess and I am actually very pumped up for the bullet segment. Anything can happen. 30 minutes of 1 plus 2 seconds increment and if the scores are tied, we will go into a final Armageddon. So, let's get back. I think two minutes or two and a half minutes more to go. Let's go. Let's have a quick word with the parents here. Uh, first, Gukesh's mom here. How are you feeling, Padma ji? <laughs> Very excited. Very excited? Yeah. Is it like you're feeling tension? No, no. I consider it to be a fun match, so I'm not tensed. Okay, it's a fun <laughs> match, not tense. But do you think Gukesh is playing like really well he made a strong comeback yeah he's fighting back he's fighting he's back fighting back nicely yes. okay i enjoy it thank you and we have mr Srinivas, eric i see sir how is the match going 
very excited really very excited i think you you're watching gukesh for the first time ever are you feeling a little bit tensed nothing yeah, nothing yeah. daily we are seeing at a home online online tournament oh, okay can you just hold daily we are seeing online tournaments nothing like that okay okay these are seasoned parents here just enjoying and just taking and, one move at a time and this is not a rating this is not rating. this is a fun <laughs> yes absolutely uh, and uh, overall how does how do you feel the both players are fighting you know the, at one point arjun had the lead then gukesh came back then arjun fought back okay they are playing well they are we are enjoying the play play that's all well thank you so much we are all enjoying this uh, game and we will be now one minute left so let's take time i'll go back to the commentary room and the players will be, oh arjun is already back here so there we go one minute to go okay and guys that was it right now we are going to start in 45 seconds the players are on the board and sagar is rushing back to the commentary room mera awaaz wahan pe ja raha hai स्पीकर पे हाँ वेन सागर वॉज टॉकिंग टू दी ऑडियंस गाइज डिड यू सी दर वॉज दिस वेरी लिटिल गाय एंड वेन सागर आज हाउ डू यू फील ही वॉज लिटरली डांसिंग एंड ही वॉज लाइक ऑलमोस्ट आई थिंक सिक्स ईयर्स ओल्ड और समथिंग इट वॉज सो नाइस टू सी दैट या वेल आई लव द एटीट्यूड ऑफ द पेरेंट्स देर इज नो प्रेशर ऑन द किड जस्ट complete but i'm sure gukesh and arjun both want to do well and win this match they are back on the board and uh, director saab i think we need to sort of alternate between our two viewers here because this might get really intense and quick how many games sagar do you think uh ha let's do that Sir, how many games do you think are going to happen in 30 minutes? Bullet I games. I think they will play at least seven games. That's what I believe. Okay, okay. there Max you go. Six. The game has started, Amruta. It's C4, C6, Knight F3, D5. We have the English the Slav. No, the no? Slav. Oh. It's the Slav on the board. A4 has been played. Bishop F5. F3 is it like a samish kind of line sagar no it's more like amruta this is this is a very hardcore slav variation and it's a peace sacrifice line this was actually an old line in the olden days it used to be played a lot and suddenly these two players have <laughs> are playing it yeah because in bullet they want to play this gambit and sacrifice line yeah. right <laughs> but but gukesh knows his stuff he goes king to c1 and guys look at the time here gukesh has 1 minute 13 seconds 58 seconds for arjun eri guys see don't we have the bar no we don't have the bar here we need to watch it just like this we can get the bar as well if we want okay he's gone g4 in the position now guys notice carefully here white has an extra piece okay and gukesh here uh, that has an extra piece but arjun has how many pawns he has three pawns on the board so with a6 he cemented his pawns and he's telling gukesh that look your king is slightly weak my king is safe meanwhile gukesh is saying my piece counts for lot more he goes h5 He's trying to create dark square weaknesses with h6, but Arjun stops it with h6. Now g5 on the board, trying to open up the position. Mabri. He takes another pawn. H6. My God, this is bullet chess at its finest. Both players are playing super quick, but Arjun is slightly slower here. Gukesh has 58 seconds. Arjun has 28 seconds here. G6 played. But the position looks favorable for Black. I would say. I mean, there is no bar, but if no, I Amruta, must say. No, Amruta. I I think. it's all about very concretely if white can break through he's better otherwise you are right 
if king at 7 comes in yes. i think black is doing very well so that's why at 7 played he pushes his pawn to at 7 king h8 and now can gukesh find a way to break through can he go queen e5 check but there's pawn but there to f6 six. exactly he goes queen c2 and what is his idea here of putting your queen to c2 amruta um. i am not sure and also rook on h1 is forever tied down I to like, h7 i like i like i like black's position here for exactly, sure amruta exactly queen Zagar. d4 played here there's no plan now can you take on c6 oh god but that c file no he goes king b1 that's a smart move just stay away from these checks b4 played rook to edge rook to g3 and i think Arjun is slowly taking over. Yeah, the pawns are like his there is a storm coming, Sagar. There's a storm. You can't yeah, stop it. Yeah, exactly, Amruta. You were absolutely right that Arjun's pawns look stronger than Gukesh's piece, and that is what is happening here. You can see Gukesh. And now he's down to eight discomfort. seconds. Gukesh, whereas Arjun has uh, twenty seconds still. Right. C3, and he takes on G4. Queen to d2. If you don't exchange the queen, there's a mate on b2. Oh, it's forced. So you can't do that. And by the way, guys, we just right now switched on the engine, what? and it says the position is equal. Unbelievable! <laughs> oh my God, this and is no, a crazy now it's position. Winning. Now it's winning for black. Now it's winning. Check c2. It is winning. You give a check on a1, and can you? No, the rook is defended. The rook is defended there. But he brings the other rook. Such a calm move. You can't stop rook a1, and that is game over. Arjun Gukesh is going to lose on time. Ah, That's a, a mate. mate. What a game by Arjun Erigaisi. 12-10 is the score now. Arjun takes a two-point lead, and the time is 25 minutes 54 seconds. So I believe one game takes around four minutes to play. So we might witness six more games here. And the deficit of two points is definitely possible to get. I, you know, Amruta, did you see that? What Gukesh does after the game is over, he puts his hand on the board. Yes. He sort of touches it with respect. Yes. And I, I think that. that's a very, very interesting and a very. Uh, look at him nice how he's sitting. Look at him how he's sitting because he has only 30 seconds. Yeah, that's a break, break of one minute. After and he's every thinking, I think, game. what what uh, opening I should play next. Yeah. Yeah. And he you have Arjun retire. not even leaving the board. Arjun is like, I don't want to go anywhere. Mm. And I like this thing, Amruta. These two players have such differing what? personalities. I, I enjoy watching it. <laughs> and then there you see the comes on the board. Score of Anish versus Vidit before Bullet? Or you don't? I think uh, it was equal after the first game uh -huh. of Bullet. Then Anish picked up in the uh, Bullet, got the lead, then uh, Vidit struck back. And then finally, we had like the final bullet game, which Anish won. Okay, time to go now. Next game, we begin. <coughs> oh, that's Sicilian on the yeah, board. Sicilian, Open Sicilian. Sicilian, and he's going to play Pelican. Freshico. Yes, 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 that is Gukesh's favorite opening. And he goes bishop Are you guys to seeing G5. the bishop keep line? A6. Beautiful. Knight A3. Amruta, you used to play this in your childhood. Yes, quite a lot. And I think uh, once again, this is some preparation that has been made by Arjun Erigaisi. Knight C2 played on the yeah, board. Yeah, there will happen A4 in the future, G3, Bishop G2. Oh, sorry. Guys, the score, if I'm not mistaken, is 13 11, right? Director Saab, if you can just. They're saying 12. No, it's not 12 10, it's 13 11, correct. It's 13 11, guys. Please pardon me for my error. Not 12-10. It was a, ga a gif uh, difference of two, but 13-11. Absolutely. There we have on our screen. Okay. H5 wow, on the he's board. He's gone H4, H5. He's not developed a bishop at all. Bishop E6 played. And he takes on G6. What is Arjun's plan? Is he planning to keep the king in the center, Zagar? Uh, generally, yes. You can keep your king in the center. You can even castle sometimes short. You can even castle long. You know, there are many options long here. Long castle. <laughs> no, he goes a3. The idea may be to go knight to b4, Amruta. Hmm. Queen g5. Played by Gukesh. I like this move, queen g5. He's brought his queen out. And knight to b4. Guys, there you can see the timer running down on that phone. 24 minutes, 14 seconds. 
and sagar the current assessment of the position is that arjun is better arjun is better yes slightly better right or quite a bit quite difference. better it's plus 1 plus 1 ooh arjun having a 2 point lead so it's a positional and also advantage even is better yeah in spite of his king on e1 Let's see, Amruta. If Gukesh is Gukesh manages to Sagar, pull Gukesh off another fight back, is getting uh, I think into his favorite positions. I think he's going to get a five. Maybe, maybe, but queen or exchange offered. He Do won't exchange. It? No, no you, if you take he will it, not. Either if you take it, then your king is very weak on g8. He takes it. Oh. King oh. takes, and now Amruta knight c6 and knight e7 is a mate there. So careful. Careful! If a check comes on e7 after the knight on c6 is dislodged, Bapre. it's a mate. Nothing less. Of course, he's not gonna miss that. But this queen exchange Who definitely favors white. Knight d5, rook e8. Yeah, I I like white's position. It's so much better than. The major reason I mean is the, the dark square bishop sagar, which Gukesh has, right? Oh, he takes a pawn. He takes a pawn. Arjun Erigai see. showing what a classy speed player he is playing super quick and now d5 he gets his rook to d5 king e2 played and e4 on the board the rook comes to d1 sagar have you seen gukesh has only 5 seconds oh, there is arjun has 25 five seconds. seconds and he's also pawned down but amruta there is still some fight in the position it's not completely lost bishop goes to d7 95 and he wins another pawn but is there some discovered attack he can give no, no he plays bishop f6 he had 1 it's second more there more like a desperate attempt check oh rook d rook d h8 no he brings the other rook it's a checkmate oh. it's a forced mate arjun eri guys see winning another game this is 14 11 he has a 3 point lead with 22 minutes to go wow What powerful play by Arjun Eri Gaisi! We have one minute break, forty-eight seconds, Amruta. Yeah, the opening was solid, very solid. What Arjun played, yeah. and in bullet he is playing such a solid opening. I can't, uh, uh, you know, believe it because the first game was like you said, it was an old line, it was sacrifice. Yeah. So I was expecting a lot of crazy uh, openings. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, but this was but a great game by Arjun. But I think what he's planned is maybe with white he goes solid, yeah. and with black maybe he goes for some crazy lines. What do you think? Possibly, I think if Gukesh Amruta does not win this game, he might have a very tough time making a comeback because three-point deficit is a lot. But if he wins this, we can expect a comeback. Yes, he's right. It has been a match that has lived up to its expectations. Has And been very even. There we go. They they didn't even complete their break time. They were like the adrenaline <laughs> is pumping. Let's go. And we have the third game on this time. It is and that's against Sicilian. Sicilian against Sicilian, you know, both want to fight. Both want to fight. A3 line played by Gukesh. D5 on the board. He takes. He takes D5. Guys, the time format is one minute plus two seconds increment. And yes, right now, if we could try and get the bar. on the screen but we'll try to get it on the next game no we we could we could think about making the leeches board also work if there is a bar but this is nice this is nice this is super speed chess this is accurate time and you know you guys can follow it just make your own conclusion somewhere bishop a6 played and you know if you take the bishop on a6 he's going queen a5 check and winning the bishop back so he takes queen takes d3 on the board and amruta this is a small edge for white because the c6 pawn is weak knight to f6 played on the board i don't think gukesh should exchange gukesh the will not exchange the queens he will time. play queen e2 just bring your queen back but with a lot of exchanges and slight edge still black should be safer here yeah black is i mean arjun is not in big danger but Gukesh has to not But think. But Gukesh right is now, thinking Gukesh suddenly. Gukesh has to not take time at all. From, oh, he takes on f6. What's his plan here? Maybe he wants to go queen h3. Like not to keep his queen on e2, stuck uh, to defend the e4 knight. He was. Sagar. Oh, he was playing. Going oh, to play queen f3. Anyway, then he, he went queen e2 because maybe queen d5 was coming. 
castles c3 played and i like uh, uh, arjun i mean arjun's position is quite quite good here ambuta bish queen b6 and now bishop to e3 hitting the queen that b2 pawn is protected ah that's why he kept the queen on e2 queen to c2 can you no, go rook b8 and just attack the b2 pawn i think that looks good but there is b4 but after b4 there is queen c4 yeah, he goes rook b8 he goes rook b8 b4 on the board maybe now you go a5 amruta and just get rid of that pawn which is not so oh, yeah he, he goes a5 he makes that good move rook b1 or rook b1 there's a pin there but amruta i think white is slightly better here because you see you put because your bishop on c5 mm -hmm. c6 is weak there's a queen side majority Kukesh does have then, a Sadar, better position, a but time. But then, it's a slow positional edge, edge with ten seconds. But look at the time, Amruta. वही तो ten seconds. Yeah, oh he is low on time. Takes, takes, and he plays bishop e7. Fine move there by Arjun, exchanging that, and suddenly the position oh, is it's equal. It's four. It's sort three. of equal. By the way, the heart rate for Arjun is seventy-nine. Man, and Arjun is. And you're playing bullet, and you have <laughs> such a control over your nerves. <laughs> What are you doing? In human, yeah, he is yeah. super human. Queen a4 played. Ah, but you can't take on b4 because the d8 <laughs> rook is hanging and there's back rank problems there. So you nice. need to actually nice play h6 or something. Yeah, he does that. Even Arjun is is down to six six seconds. Oh, I think. Arjun also low on time. Queen b4, but now the c pawn is a passer. He takes takes and plays h3. He also saves his I back rank. Queen b6. Fight. This is actually no? a draw. I think But guys But with the passer pawn maybe still some times agar he will still fight some hope Yes rook b1 queen to c6 Oh 2 seconds for Arjun Yeah Arjun actually going really low on time And Gukesh is now very much determined Hey but can you take on c4 Arre Oh he plundered there and Arre now all of a sudden all of a sudden Arjun's oh going to press here Yeah and Arjun wants that win But now this is actually a oh very tough position take, to defend Why did he take on d5 Oh, it's a tough, a tough rook end game to defend. If if Gukesh can get a draw, that would be good here because he's now pawn down. But Sagar, if he wouldn't have taken the queen, uh -huh. then was it easier to draw? Not okay, sure. Okay, now rook I, I think it's now still it's still possible to draw, Amruta. It's not like totally losing or something. But definitely, it's an irritating position Correct. to play in bullet. Especially when you are down on uh, down by four points. Yeah. Three, three points. Oh my God! Look at our Gukesh is trying. Yeah, how did Gukesh? You know, Gukesh sometimes pauses for a <laughs> few couple of seconds. How does he find that time in bullet? Man, these two players are playing super oh. quick, and Arjun takes a queen in his hand. He's like, Why? <laughs> Why don't take a queen? H4 now, maybe G6. Safe move. G3. Theoretically, is this winning? Sagar no, I think black? it should be a draw. Theoretically, it should be a draw, but this last move H4 is such a pretty move because he's creating a weakness, and I believe that this will be sort of uh, a very difficult position to hold. Oh, one second, Gukesh is down to one second. Rook A6, Rook B8, and can you go Rook A8 check? Guys, I can sort of guarantee oh, that is Gukesh's tough. heart rate is stable. Or do you think Amruta? <laughs> it it's not it can't be 79 all this while right no that's arjun ha huh? ah, sorry arjun arjun no it can be check acha king f7 sure. maybe something's wrong with his heart rate we have no to I check ha uh ha -huh. bhai itna okay, stable nahi ho sakta okay but what is this position sagar <laughs> what is this position it's still it's still equal it's still, still equal still equal yeah so the only thing which can matter is the time if gukesh kind of you know zones out yeah But you know this game is going to bleed a lot of time. Oh yeah, it was important time for Gukesh minutes. to get more number of games. So this is quite a sad thing for him in a way. Have you realized that? What? Yeah, yeah. And I think Arjun moves is for a bullet game. Somehow Arjun is uh, making sure that the game does not end so quickly. Ah, but now it's actually a draw. Now it's a draw. Draw कब से है सागर? हाँ. But the draw has to but, end but quickly you know, for Gukesh. But you know, Amrita, now now it's kind of the players have. Oh, but if he, he can't take that pawn on with the king, no, he can take with the king. Yeah, he can take with the king. H pawn. 
ओके दिस इज ट्रिकी दिस इज ट्रिकी गाइस दिस इज नॉट इजी किंग एफ आई किंग एफ 4 बाय इट्स हैपनिंग ना किंग एफ 4 किंग जी 4 इट्स अ ड्रॉ यू डोंट हैव टू डू एनीथिंग जस्ट मूव या स्टे देयर एंड दैट्स अ ड्रॉ देयर गाइस the game has ended in a draw and 15 minutes have been completed the Are score the time no time is stopped okay. and the score Auto. is now who what's the score of the 15 I think 14 and half 11 and half right and yes. we have a break of actually 3 minutes now right because we are going at the halfway mark 3 minutes break we are going to take over here and we are just Yeah no we can make it 2 and 1/2 minutes here so that the players have 2 and 1/2 minutes break who so guys. how many bullet games are over uh, are remaining amruta they played 3 bullet games until now and uh, two of them was won by arjun and the third one ended in a draw we are now going to the fourth bullet game so gukesh needs to strike yes. here like so it's mandatory there will be 3 more games and mm. right now the difference of score is 3 points so actually gukesh needs to win all 3 mm. and then we can go into armageddon but if arjun wins one more i think match is effectively over no but if they he can also get 4 games maybe yes. it depends yes. so yes i mean you can say that if this game last no imagine next if arjun wins he will get a gap of 4 points correct hmm. and then there will be only 10 minutes left so hmm. you know your time is also gone down okay. so we can have the bar now sagar uh, can we have the bar should we Because do that we should uh, have the bar no for this okay let's try we'll get we'll try to get the bar directors up for this one we'll try leeches okay so that people you know they like to see the bar and see what is the evaluation <laughs> these games by these youngsters are so difficult to understand when they play at th this what is that word you use amruta breakneck yeah <laughs> <laughs> at this breakneck speed and right now gukesh there in his typical pose it's a thinker's pose i would say he sits there and he comes up with ideas what is arjun up to can we have the camera on arjun and see where is he He must be behind there. Must be talking to his friend, Ritwik, or might be sitting. Might be sitting there. Let's try to figure out. Oh, look at Gukesh. He closed his eyes. Yeah. Right now he is surely tensed. Yeah. I mean, you can sense it. Okay guys last 15 minutes left in this match in case we have a tie we will have another armageddon both players are back on this their chairs let's have a big cheer for them for one final 15 minutes of play let's go Okay, time to go and we are off to the final. And it's London system Sagar. It's happening on three the board. Three games I think final three games and there we go. Can we have this board this time on the screen? And guys, oh London system mein they have gone queen e2 line which is a very different yeah, line yeah it's it's around equal and i think arjun likes to play the london system often mm -hmm. and he's played it here okay let's go yeah we have e4 on the board now this is a nice move but he takes and you can push e5 because if you take back oh he takes back and now gukesh has an advantage a small little advantage here will gukesh make a comeback guys because Wha after takes takes he has an isolated pawn ah, and now but b7 is hanging amruta 
So you can't play knight f6. If you play knight f6, then b7 would hang. Then you go b5. Yeah, b5 played on the board. And you can't play d5. You can't play d5 because knight f6. Mm, that's a good Okay, point. so Gukesh might be very slightly better. Not, not like seriously better. Bishop e5, but it, it looks a little scary on you that g7, h6 Amruta, front. you can go knight b6, knight d5. Or knight f6, knight d5. But knight f6, he might take and then play d5, mm, maybe. Wow, that's why he goes knight b6, avoiding that exchange. Right, right. Important. But now, now mm. queen g4, no, he plays rook c1, he goes here, knight d5. Actually, Gukesh has got a good position here. He has a chance to make a comeback, knight d2. And now, by the way, Gukesh's heart rate has started working on 100. And Arjun, by the way, it had not stopped working. He just stays in that zone. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> For all the people who are always, you know, saying, oh, when we watch Arjun on online streams, <laughs> he doesn't have too many expressions. Well, his heart rate is also very stable. That's Sa the kind of guy he is. Very calm. Sagar. But you know, Amruta, yeah. when I interviewed his parents, they mm. said, yes, he's very calm like that. But... In normal day-to-day -day life, he's very emotional. <laughs> okay, BD6, only move. Oh, he goes bishop c7. It's a blunder. Rook fc8. Rook fc8 is coming. Then rook takes c1. No, he goes rook ac8. I think that's equally good. But if he had brought this rook now, bishop a5, because oh. you take, take, and then this knight was hanging. So now he's protected it with this knight. And b4 played here. Take, take, and b4. Excellent chess by Gukesh. He's kind of... Hitting here, queen is now defending this knight, but queen b5. Oh, queen a4 played, which is equally good. I think Gukesh might win this. He's winning a piece here. But Amruta, he knight e3. How many seconds? Oh, he's taken the rook. He's taken the rook there. And he's winning. Time-wise, Gukesh has 25 seconds also. Yes. And he's rook up almost. Queen so then he d7 is winning. played. Knight takes c1. Queen c8. He's trading. He's trading there. Queen f1. But guys, if Gukesh wins here, he would pull back one point. Yeah. He needs to pull back two more. <laughs> That's not easy. That's not at all easy. But he did hat trick once. So he needs to do it again. Yeah. By the that way. pin was really irritating after bishop g5. He goes queen c4. 5 yeah. seconds for Arjun. 13 for Gukesh. Arjun, Arjun, two your time. For Arjun. No, queen d4. And queen e1. Look at Arjun. Making all these traps in the position. He's so tricky. He's so tricky when it comes yeah. to pull it. A3 played just with one second on the clock. Queen E3 played now. Do you take the queen? Oh, oh he takes it. But this confused. end game, is it winning? Yeah, queen D1 was winning actually there. But now this end game might not be easy. Correct. Might not be Correct. easy at all. I think white will defend. Arjun will defend. Nice. Because he has these two pawns and a bishop is sitting like a fortress on C3. <sighs> but he's getting the How bishop. break that? Oh, no, no. Bishop goes back. How do you break that? Amruta, he can start pushing his kingside majority because the queenside pawns are not moving forward for Arjun. Knight a2. And you can go rook check. King e2. Actually, Gukesh, sometimes all that he needs is one win. You know? Correct. Once he starts believing in himself, he might do better. But for now, in the bullet format, he has not got a single win. And Arjun has started and pushing Sadar, his pawns. Uh, Gukesh's time has also started going down. Yeah, it yeah, and also Arjun's position possible, has started improving. This is looking very dangerous for Gukesh. Knight b4 played oh and it's oh. almost equal now. In Rook fact, C1. will White get more chances with the passers? In time pressure, the passers are more risky. I guess so. I guess this is getting out of hand for Gukesh. And maybe we might witness this check. King F1, oh, once he's again, he's winning. Game. He's back. He's back in the game. Because the king has to <coughs> go to F1. Yeah. And knight A6. He had, what, one second? They both come down to one second so many times. Makes a queen. But this is, what is this now? A draw? Rook B2. Oh, he's winning back the piece or what? No, knight C6. Knight A6 is back. He's coming. Whoa, man. What but the pass amazing pawns play. There? E3. No, I, I doubt whether... This is, I think Gukesh mm, has mm. missed the win there. Yeah. And Arjun is back in the game. It's a draw here. Guys, Gukesh was so close to winning there. But Arjun 
of course showing his bullet skills yeah he's when under time pressure arjun does play really well and we have seen that with magnus carlson as well oh yeah and now he's winning he's winning he's winning what went wrong with rook b3 with one Bishop move b4 guys what a game we are having oh, this here is crazy. this is crazy one of the difficult positions to <laughs> calculate sagar kuch bhi ho sakta hai is kuch there a queen bhi? yes that's oh, a queen oh it's a not a mate and he resigns Whoa! Oh, Arjun Erigaisi wins another game and the difference of four points here. Wow! I think the match is almost over technically, but we might have to see another game. Yes, Amruta. Yes, maybe one more. One, one more last. because eight minutes left. The difference is four points. Yes, it's over, but we will continue no, at it's least. It's not yet over. I mean, maybe one more game. But Amruta, each game takes around four minutes to complete. and if you think about it hmm. we have 8 minutes left which means that he can maximally win 3 games and that would mean the difference of unless no, if he if he wins very quickly yeah. that uh, will uh, if if gukesh can win within a couple of minutes but that's so tough but that's it's not impossible difficult. No, sagar until it is not impossible we can't say yeah what's going to happen now arjun where is the blazer or was he already wearing the blazer i don't know but gukesh is white in this game hmm gukesh has the white pieces let's look at this game guys this is the fourth fifth bullet game that we are going to witness and we have yeah. the french defense on the board arjun playing the french 94 wow what sort of a line is that A tricky Arjun. You see, Arjun's uh, heart rate right now is suddenly more. Yeah, because he's winning the tournament. Ah, and it's about <laughs> a tournament. That's why, not a game. Uh, I don't know. Ninety-seven, fifteen point five, eleven point five is the score, guys. Queen goes to h4. Is this a known line, Sagar? You know, uh, you know, Gukesh is better now. Hmm. He's he's very much better, and I think he would love to win a game. But he has to play fast, very fast, in fact. Yeah. Goes knight c3. Maybe he wants to attack the e4 pawn, or he wants to go d5. Oh, long castle. That's very risky. Yeah, he was long castle. For it. Maybe a4. Do you want to start? Bishop f4 played. What's the idea of bishop f4? He wants to put his bishop on g3, but I think Arjun yeah. can now push his pawns on the king side. Is the queen on g4 uh, going to get trapped or something? Bishop e2, queen f5. Not at all. It's pretty safe. Yes, Sagar. What are you thinking? Yeah, are I'm you lost? Yeah, no. I'm just trying to are figure out. out? F3 played here, and uh, <laughs> I, I'm just amazed by the way these two youngsters have fought. You know, it's been a great evening of chess, and for now, I think this might be the final game that we are going to witness. So let's just give it our all and watch them fight for one final time. F4, Queen goes back to G6. Do they play more games? Uh, otherwise. How is it? Like all the games until the match is over. I think they have to play all the games, right or no? Uh, I believe that uh, we can end it, you know, because. But we can see first. Let's first finish this game, and then we can decide. We can let the arbiter make a call. We can ask the players. We'll decide. G four. Okay, this is clearly better for Arjun with those two pawns. What's the plan? Queen f four g three. My God, Arjun is going all out on the attack. I think H how Arjun, Arjun should is so better yeah, at bullets sagar so like good. he's so good really I don't know I don't know the thing is he just trains he's trained or maybe he's just amazing or has he played a lot with Nehal <laughs> Yeah yeah I'm sure they've played hundreds and thousands of bullet games that's for sure practice makes a difference and uh, but still to do this so accurately King G2 here something uh, didn't go the go right for arjun in fact he had advantage he's lost it for some reason 
and Gukesh is now getting hmm? better position. Yeah, Gukesh is doing well, but after King F2, F6 on the board, and he takes. Knight takes. Okay, now again the advantage is with Arjun Sagar. Really? It's it's fluctuating. No, like no, it's I think fluctuating Gukesh is with doing every well move. because Gukesh has an extra pawn, if I believe. Uh, yeah, he's got back one pawn, but still White has an extra pawn. So I think. Yeah, now he this is might be the, the game. No, he, he's taken on C2, so now it's equal pawns. S round about even, maybe White has a small little edge there. He's trying to press. White has a good edge now, with that edge pawn. Yeah. Only because of the edge pawn, he trades the light square bishop. Takes king e7. Oh, the pawn now, is now unstoppable. Is great position. Ten min. Ten seconds for Gukesh. No. Five for Arjun. B4. C6. He plays b5, and Arjun there, not too happy with what's happened. And oh, my maybe Gukesh pulls one game back here. It's kind of a moral victory oh yeah, for he's him. Winning, just clearly winning. Yeah, he's winning here. Rook takes e6. Maybe we can also ask the chat. Maybe we'll have one more bullet game. Should we do that, guys? Or should we? We are going to have a bullet. No? Yes. One. Should of we? Of course. Of course. Okay. Amruta says, of course. What about the chat? Oh, and uh, Gukesh has pulled one back there. What a game. Very nice game. 15 and half, 12 and half, and we have one final game, and I think we'll play it. Shall we do that? Yes, it's a final game. I mean, there are 3 minutes, 20 seconds here. There's a difference of 3 points. I think Arjun might be aware that he's winning. Yeah. But still, let's, let's go for the final bullet game. Yes. Oh, they're starting Zagar. They already shook their hands. Yeah, let's continue. They're adjusting till the, the Yeah. They didn't pieces. even think. You know, Amruta, they didn't even think like Arjun was like, I want to win. I know. Unko I want to win and end hai. this. That's <laughs> the thing. You're like, don't stop us from playing bullet because maybe after going back to our room, we are going to play bullet anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. There we have the final game, perhaps. 3 minutes, 20 seconds. E4, E5. Knight F3 on the board. And we have uh, an Italian on that's here. Okay, let's go. We have the chessboard also here. The Italian has been played by Arjun. Castles. Queen to e7. Is he planning long castle, g5, those kind of lines? Yes, he oh, is. Oh, he, he played is. g5. He played g5. And Arjun uh, has to play carefully. Yeah? You can see Gukesh means business here. Yes, can we have the score at the bottom of the screen? And the position uh, already favors Arjun. That's what it says. Yeah. But I, I still like what Gukesh has uh, chosen to go yeah, for fighting it. Chess, fighting chess, but I think Amruta, White's position looks so nice. So nice. In fact, if I remember correctly, uh, Arjun has played the Italian against Magnus Carlsen as well. He's played it at the highest level. Yeah, these two players here, they have beaten Magnus Carlsen. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's already a huge achievement. Oh, and he takes on e5. I think the position is slightly worse here because if you take on e5, you're going to lose that pawn. And e6 played knight to f6. Black's king is super exposed now, Sagar. This doesn't seem likely that any craziness can happen. You think so? Uh, Bishop e3, rook e3. Yeah, no, I think I think Arjun is better and I think he will win this. And maybe it would be a very nice thing for him to end it on a winning note. You know, he's, he's won the match mm -hmm. and he will end it on sort of a, with a win. So you are saying even if they would not have played this game, it was fine. No, I'm I'm okay. Like this is, uh, I mean, from the final result perspective, I, it wouldn't change. But I am enjoying yeah. watching these two youngsters fight. 
in fact they can keep playing as many games they want <laughs> I, we all would be happy to see it <laughs> c4 that e6 pawn is such a monster This e e e pawn is a disaster, Sagar. Yeah, very strong pawn, very strong pawn there, and Arjun doing it really well now. H three, his pawn on e seven has reached the seventh rank, king to h seven. Also, sometimes Amrita, do you see like uh, Arjun's quality of moves very mm. high? Yeah, in bullet, like makes yes. very few errors. It's a good question to understand from him that yeah, how he trained. For such speed chess, yep. I mean quality speed chess. It's not speed chess, you know. Right. Knight to c5. Oh man, maybe. Oh, that's a good move which Gukesh played right now. Yeah, something went wrong because the rook got trapped on e6. The rook got trapped. Oh, Gukesh is winning an exchange. Takes. But that e7 pawn remains yeah, on the yeah, board. Yeah, this will not be easy to win. But he was king f7, and he wants to play rook e6, maybe. Oh, there's knight d8 check. Can't play rook e6. My God. Be alert for the forks. Maybe he will go h. I think I think Gukesh will convert this one. It seems Amruta because now the rooks are getting traded. Otherwise, you lose the h4 pawn. Takes h g rook e4 f e4 h g. Played yeah, on the board. Gukesh is winning this. This is Gukesh is is yeah he's winning this. Oh my God! Never thought from that position he could strike back. Yeah. It was a. Rook h2 played, getting to the seventh rank, king to f3, and now e4 pawn push, wow. and he resigns there, and we have come to the conclusion of this event. With time ending, it's Arjun Erigaisi who has won 15 and half, 13 and half smile. Yes, Arjun Erigaisi is the champion. Let's go on the stage, yes. Amruta. Hello, 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 hello. Yes, Bart, can you start the PA?
Hello, hello, guys! What an evening of chess we have had! A big cheers to both the players and a huge applause for the second death match champion, Arjun Erigaisi. Arjun, you played an amazing event, and can you just share your thoughts on how it was? It was very close. Like, okay, in the first, in the first segment, I shouldn't have won the 960 game. I should have probably lost the zone that game. I got a bit lucky there, and then I lost some of the games that I shouldn't have lost. It was always close, but I guess the the very first bullet game just set the momentum. After I won that, uh, he kind of tilted, I think, and also uh, I was a bit more confident in bullet. And tell us, what is the secret of your? Super bullet skills. I guess all the 30 second games on leeches just were from paid off. With Nihal Sarin or with many players? He's one of them, but with many in general. Played many, many of them. And what do you have to say about Gukesh as your opponent? Oh, he's a very strong opponent. As, a, as I expected, it was close. He was also showing good opening ideas, like the Slav game, for instance. and. No, overall, it was just it was very close. Just the bullet, the first bullet game. I think had he won a zone that game, it could have been different easily. And how did it feel to play in front of so many people here and them cheering after every game? It was a great feeling. The noises, no, the noises. It was not a disturbance. It was more like uh, a motivation to play better. And Fantastic! We had such a wonderful crowd that cheered equally for both the players. Before we do the honours, let me just talk to Gukesh. Gukesh, what a great fight! Look at the support here, Gukesh. How was it? We love you guys. What a wonderful crowd! Yeah, Gukesh, how was it? It was amazing. Like cheering after every game, equally for both players. Even though Arjun is the local local guy, it was uh, really nice. And um, yeah, I mean, what can I say? The crowd was just amazing. <laughs> Tell us something. You used to go and sit there and just look into the distance, staring in the vacuum. What were you thinking? Mostly just about the next game. Uh, yeah. Did you at any point feel like, you know, the match is going your way and the momentum was your way? Where did it shift? Uh, after the Fisher random game, I was on extremely angry with myself. I, I shouldn't have won, uh, lost that game. But uh, after that, I also lost the second Blitz game, which was, uh, which was bad. But after that, uh, I somehow pulled myself together and won three games in a row. And at that time, I thought uh, the momentum was really on my side, but I also knew that uh, I probably have, I probably don't have much chance in the bullet. So I was uh, trying to win the next game and it backfired. So yeah, and in the bullet, I mean, yeah, it was pretty clear that it was not my main strength. Yeah, well, but you did win a couple of games at the end, so that was a nice finish there. Guys, we are going to do We are going to award Arjun a very special prize which is actually the thing that the winner gets. It's the champion's belt for winning the death match. Let me invite Amruta Mokal, the co-founder of Chessbase India to award it to Arjun Erigaisi. It has a very nice sort of a picture of Gukesh and Arjun and it's this belt that... <laughs> and also, he gets the trophy, the winner's trophy here.
very beautiful trophy and something's written here yeah king of the ring <laughs> and to award them with the prize money checks let me invite the chief operating officer and co-founder of nordwin gaming gautam virk Gautam is the person who has thought a lot about the production of this event guys did you like the production of this event the videos and everything it was a tremendous job i think gautam this was simply fantastic everyone here as well as online they loved it and please the, the first runners up check goes to gukesh 2 lakh rupees And now for the winners check to Arjun Erigaisi 3 lakh rupees There you go the champion Arjun maybe you can I'm oh, sorry Gupesh you can join me. Guys it's been a fantastic evening one final round of applause to the two great champions of indian chess arjun eri gaisi and gukesh were going to make the country proud on many many more occasions in the years to come and guys today is not the last day you will get to see both of them because they are going to stay back in hyderabad tomorrow the blitz tournament will happen of dream hack but the winners will get to play a simul against arjun and gukesh a tandem simul all the age group winners of blitz 15 of them will get to play so we will witness them once again in action tomorrow it's going to be great fun and uh So guys we are going to shift Arjun and Gukesh to a meet and greet area so that you guys can go and take pictures with them if you want to get some autographs uh, for a few minutes like 10 minutes or so so please be quick we are going to go on that side there's a meet and greet area so all the youngsters everyone who want to have a picture with them or you know take a selfie can do so please do give the headphones guys make sure that when you are exiting please do give the headphones and thank you all tomorrow the round is at 10 am for blitz tournament please don't be late and bring your band the band which you have got don't forget it otherwise you won't get an entry and you may have to pay the entry fee for that <laughs> 